Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Paul Goff. Welcome to the webinar. Can you hear me? And can you see me? If you can, uh, tell me that all is well. Uh, tell me that you are well. Tell me that you are excited to learn all about how to automate your um, physical therapy practice. Yusuf, all is well. How is uh, Chicago? So we are here. It is 12 o'clock in uh, the east coast of America. It is uh, 9 o'clock Pacific. It is 2 a.m. on Sunday morning um, in Sydney, and it is 5 o'clock in London. So tell me who you are, tell me where you're from, tell me what's happening in your life, and tell me what you need to make this next 90 minutes the best training that you have ever attended. I'm uh, ecstatic to be here. It's been an incredible week. The build-up has been intense, immense, uh, as always. Um, incredible amount of work goes on behind the scenes to get all of this to take place. Thank you to my team. Uh, we have what looks like uh, and is set to be again another uh, sellout, uh, even though it's free um, training. 500 people expected in the next uh, couple of minutes to join this training, which is being uh, beamed from a little town called Hartlepool in the northeast of England, where it is cold, it is dark, it is damp, um, it is uh, very windy, uh, but it's fabulous to be here. It is the uh, home of the Paul Goff Physio Rooms, where I'm coming to you from right now, and I want you to know right off the bat that everything that you're about to learn it's not theory, it's not anything that I've made up, um, it's not anything that I've just plucked from thin air, it is something that I'm using right now in a physical therapy business that I run, that I own, um, that is um, living and breathing and I use these systems and have used these systems to help me grow from uh, one clinic to four in the last couple of years. So who have I got? Uh, Dean, I can see Kaylee, I can see Andrew from Charlotte, I can see Jennifer uh, or Jenny from London. Yusuf says the weather is crazy. Uh, Kaylee, hi Paul, all is well here from Lago, uh, Florida, pumped to hear what you have to say, love Florida. Teresa says that she can hear me. Who else? So type into the chat, come on, Elliot from Charleston or Elliot uh, Cleveland from Charleston south carolina elliot didn't we meet um didn't we meet a year or so ago i've got keith from south dakota uh, never been there is in the beginning process of starting my own business very excited to do so says keith uh cameron from michigan i've got uh, danielle from san jose love that part of the world uh paul from bedfordshire we are in england um anybody from hartlepool on uh right now anybody from the northeast of england it would always be fun if one of my competition was on this webinar wouldn't it be great wouldn't it be great? And you know what? I wouldn't change a thing. Um, I wouldn't change a thing. Um, I'm sure there will be instances where somebody who is a direct competitor of mine sneaks onto these webinars, which is um, which is good. So tell me what is uh, Bedfordshire like right now? Uh, Karen from Warrington. I've got Carol in Seattle. Uh, Paul, uh, this is Cooney from Texas. Tell me whereabouts in Texas. It's a pretty good place. Uh, Shi Feng from New York City, excited about this workshop. Uh, who says, Kaylee, I'll meet you at SSPT Live this year. Good, I'm excited to get. It's funny, I booked my flight the other day, um, direct into Tampa, all the way from London. Um, Elliot, I've followed you ever since. Good, yeah, I remember that meeting well. It was in uh, Myrtle Beach. It was in Myrtle Beach we met Elliot, wasn't it? Uh, I remember you telling me you drove sort of two or three hours to um, to come down. Uh, Robin from Boston. I love, love, love Boston. Um, is it snowy there right now? Marlene uh, Smith says she can hear me. Carson in DC. Love Carson. Un. Thank you for the messages, Carson. I've got uh, some updates to give you as well that I've just uh, received in the last few hours on the topic we were speaking about. Ryan from Denver. Love Denver as well. Um, I'll be there later in the year. Todd from San Diego. My favorite place on earth. Tell me, describe to me what San Diego in one word, Todd, use one word to sum up what San Diego is like right now. Um, make me jealous. Gabrielle from California, Ken from Colorado, Gwen living in Germany. Whereabouts in Germany? Um, what is Elliot's last name? Um, I'm not sure I if I'm allowed to give it out. Um, if he gives me the permission, I will. Rena from Jersey City, Sarah from Oahu, love it. Uh, Megan from New Jersey, Lauren from New Orleans. I will be in New Orleans in a couple of weeks. Um, I will uh, be there. I think it's 22nd of February, Lauren, so let's connect. Uh, Nick from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, again, let's meet up when I arrive in um, New Orleans in a couple of weeks. 
Uh, who else? Keep watching and listening, just having trouble uh, pulling the trigger. Yeah, you, you and uh, a couple of others. Kristin uh, from Manchester, due to expand the clinic. So excited from, is this Manchester, England or Manchester, America? Tell me, are we are we neighbours? Uh, dark, cold, just watching the footy scores come in. We have a Brit. Right now, the thing to do in Britain on a Saturday afternoon is watch those footy scores come in when it's cold and dark outside. Hampshire, Lydia from Denver, Montana from Orlando. La oh, uh, Montana, I think I emailed you the other day to say I'd be in Orlando in a few weeks. I hope you got my email. Larry from Cookville. Um, Cookville, is that uh, Tennessee? Joining you from British Columbia, Canada. Very snowy right now. When are you coming to Chicago? Uh, when will I be coming to Chicago? Round about the summertime. I only come when it's sunny and hot. Derek from Vancouver. Um, ain't seen anybody from Australia yet. Uh, Qatar. We're in Qatar. Anza's from Qatar. 45 minutes from Nuremberg. So we're all over Europe. We're in Qatar. We're in the Middle East. We're in um, London. We're in Canada. We're all over America. Um, Sweden, I think, by the looks as well. Pasadena. So we are in uh, LA area. CSM. Yeah, I'll see you in, in CSM. So listen, uh, Nebraska right now, we are absolutely everywhere. We're waiting for one or two Aussies to come on. And then we're going to be good to go. But it's early for the Aussies. Um, so they're probably just having another couple of snoozers before um, they get on the webinar. So uh, we are already at 494, which is um, is pretty sensational of, I think, something like 650 people registered. So type into the chat. What's good? What's good about your life? Let's give it two more minutes and we're going to get going. Tell me what is good about your life right now. I'd love to know. Just the, the one thing that you're just grateful for, you're just loving life. Whatever it is right now, there must be something fab. Let's find it and then we'll kick off. I always like to start these webinars with um, a positive focus, as my business coach likes to call it. Start everything that you do with something positive. Ross Walker, the genius behind much of what we do. Um, family is great. My kids, my family and husband, family, says Danelle. Uh, working on our terms, says Marissa. This is what this whole webinar is about. How do we get you? It's one thing. A lot of people can, can start a business. A lot of people can grow a business. Can you do it on your terms? Can you do it when you're enjoying it? Can you do it with, um, I'm not going to say ease because I'm not going to lie that it, it comes easy, but can you do it where when you put that energy in, you get out what you deserve? Brandon from Maryland, who else? Uh, Eagles in the Super Bowl. Keep it real. This is this is like big. This is huge. It would be like Hartlepool United being in the FA Cup final here in Britain. Gearing up to start our first PT clinic in the next few months. Good, Lauren. You're in the right place right now. Uh, Danelle says, long time no see uh, to wear me. Can't see the messages from everybody. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, what we got now? So we got 497. We've got three to go and we're done. Um, here's a little tip I'm going to give you. Once you're in, don't leave. Once you are in this webinar room, do not leave. It happens every time um, we fill up. and In fact, we oversubscribe regularly. And it means that if um, you lose a spot right now in the next moment or two, people will be trying to log in and they won't be able to get in. It will say you are locked out. And the only time that you can get in is if you leave. So if you leave and they take your space, you lose your space. So please um, do not do whatever you have to do to make sure the Wi-Fi is good. Um, tell next door you need their code if you have to log into theirs tell the wife or husband or partner tell the kids to stop downloading stuff because you need the download space for the next two hours we have a lot um to get through we have a lot to get through a lot of people from new york in uh, mike z from nyc is in mike z from nyc the pt there we go um i turned off call of duty says <laughs> Greg has switched off Call of Duty. Is that Greg Todd by any chance? The download speed, speed in your house will be significantly less with all those kids in your house, I reckon, Greg, if that's you, Greg Todd, right now. So I hope you've cracked the whip. Or knowing you, Greg, you've probably got your own connected to NASA somewhere. Wi-Fi that gives you the best download speed that America's ever seen, if that is you, Greg. That's me. Um... Makes me happy to be the only one from Chicago. Can implement your teachings and beat the ass of my competition, says Yusuf. Correct. But who cares if they are? Um, I believe you need some competition in this life. Um, drive you forward just that one um, step further than uh, you would have done. And competition can actually do you a favor. It's uh, The best thing that can ever happen to you is a, um, a strong competitor set up next to you because it forces you to improve. And then from that on... Um, it's how badly do you want it? And I promise you that's the best race to uh, to be in. 
Life is great. Just spend some time with friends and family. Um, yeah, I've seen some great pictures on, on Facebook tonight, which was nice to see. So, we're full. We are full. Well done. Congratulations. You're in. You made it. Uh, we're 500 strong PTs from all over the world. Hopefully, um, we've got one or two Aussies on now as well. But um, we are all across the world, quite literally. So welcome to the webinar. If you're just joining, my name is Paul Goff. It's fab to be here. Um, excited all day. I spent the morning with my kids, took them to um, my favorite ice cream uh, shop on the coast here in, in Hartlepool. We had uh, coffee and ice cream this morning and some breakfast with the kids. And um, I've just been excited and thinking about this. Couldn't sleep last night for uh, the energy, if you like, the, um, the the night before energy that I get when I do these webinars is second to none. So it's good to know you're there. Thank you. I appreciate your time and I will do everything i can in the next um could be two hours to share with you um stuff that will make um the sacrifice um worthwhile so is everybody ready everybody ready coffee at the hand have you got your water have you been to the toilet have you switched off everything have you locked the doors turned the lights out we don't want anybody interrupting you say goodbye for at least two hours to your kids to your partners your wives your husbands everybody and anybody for the next two hours is getting ignored and we are focusing 100 percent on how you can use systems in your business to grow um, your clinic without having to work so hard so type into the chat if you're ready to go and i will um i will kick off you should be able to see my slides right now and you should be able to see me and you should be able to hear me um loud and clear all the way from britain um beaming all over the world just in uh, just join the Infusionsoft community, says Emma. Congratulations. All right, Ryan, we are ready to roll. So let's get going. So who is this for? The first thing I'm going to say is that often um, people join my webinar um, often wanting to copy what I do and how I do it. If you're not a physical therapist or you're not an occupational therapist or a chiropractor or a massage therapist or an uh, osteopath or anybody who is just in our world, in our kind of uh, hemisphere if you like if you are just here to copy what i do so that you can pinch my ideas to teach somebody else a lot of people do that these days and don't you are taking up a spot for somebody we genuinely only have 500 spaces we are full and if you are not uh, one of those people that can benefit significantly from what i'm about to teach please do not take somebody else's spot get the hell off this is for people who plan on growing by opening more locations and want to know how to do it with ease. You want to spend more time with the family, but still make the same money. You want to find more time to over deliver on customer and clinical care. And I call that growth by streamlining operations. You want to spend more time being an owner of a business, less time being a PT. You would like to position yourself out of the business, but still take home a nice, big, fat, juicy paycheck every single month. You want to set up systems in your business that means you can run your business from anywhere in the world. Was really my reason for doing it. You're an experienced PT clinic owner looking for new ways to grow your practice, then this is for you. You're new in business and have big plans to be ultra successful with a chain of clinics that have your name above the door. You're a great physical therapist who wants to become a more successful business owner. And every clinic owner who wants to stop doing low value, $15 per hour work. Can you see that slide? That's the one. That, that is the one. The reason that most businesses get stuck, the reason that most business owners are tired, the reason that most businesses um, or, or people who start businesses fail to get to the point of being able to operate a business confidently or move from operator to business owner is because they get stuck doing work that they shouldn't be doing. They get stuck repeating tasks, um, and there is nothing wrong with $15 an hour work, but business owners can't do that. Business owners have to elevate themselves to a different level of thinking and a different way of working, and you need to have systems in place, and it's systems and automation that will allow you to do that. So one of the reasons that we're here is to put an end to business owners doing that. It's much, much more... Um, important that you use your time better and more wisely and we will show you how to do that today so here's what you'll learn during the presentation the seven most important systems of any pt clinic and how to use them to grow your practice profits and simultaneously find more time for spending with your family the seven most critical automation aspects of my business that have helped me grow from one clinic to four with ease marketing automation what it is and two ways to put it to work in your business starting monday morning 
precisely what to do um, to successfully grow a clinic on autopilot and without you having to work so hard success stories how other pt owners in the us and around the world have copied this exact system to grow their practice with ease and three critically important things that i want to teach you that i'm pretty sure a pt school didn't teach you about running um a business anybody um did anybody go to school and were actually taught anything about business i'd be interested to know type into the chat did your pt school teach you anything about running the business or were you just left to fend for yourself so why is this important to you now times have changed undoubtedly times have changed the old-fashioned ways of building businesses using manual labor are dead the recent healthcare changes have caused a stress-ridden pt industry most owners are now stuck in what we call the rat race a genuine competitive advantage is vital for success in this competitive healthcare economy and leveraging systems and automation um, will let you do that leverage is key leverage is key doctors are getting harder to reach Thankfully, marketing automation has arrived and patient co-pay out of network costs and deductibles are now a huge problem getting in the way of your profits and value alignment through automated systems helps clinic owners to overcome that. Patients expect more because they're paying more and pre-built systems allow you to create an unrivaled, um, what Jerry Durham likes to call a new patient journey experience at your practice. Market saturation has made small town clinics a commodity. Um, Greg Todd, you are responsible for this. You must have to put your hand up. Aaron Labauer, you are responsible for this. And Jared Carter, um, you are wholly, uh, collectively responsible for um, clinics popping up everywhere. It is the number of new clinics now. If you've got, here's what I'm going to say. Greg, I hope you're listening. If you've got competition in your town, I can see Yusuf there, he's worried about it in his town. If you've got it, it's likely because of Greg Todd. And it's going to get worse. Greg Todd is inspiring more people to start businesses every single day than Marcus Lamonis. Like, Greg's the guy that is responsible for the significant number of corporations started in the US in the last 12 months since Donald Trump was elected. Not Trump, Todd. It's Todd who's responsible for this. Plus Labauer, plus Carter. So market saturation is a problem. Clinics are going to be everywhere. So you're going to have to do something very, very different. And quite simply, the real reason, most of you on here today simply cannot work any harder than you already are. Agreed. Yes or no? Type into the chat, yes or no? How is it possible, how is it possible for most business owners in our profession to actually work any harder than they already are. I cannot, cannot, for the life of me, figure out, I've been all over the world. I've been very lucky to travel all over Asia, Europe, America, Canada, Australia. I haven't been in a place yet where there's more than 24 hours in a day. You can't work any harder. And when you hit that point, you hit that ceiling, madness. If you try to keep doing the thing that you were doing, that got you to smash into the ceiling in the first place. So I'm going to put it to the 500 people on here. Um, I can see people literally typing in, yes, yes, yes. No, I cannot work any harder. This is so effing right. I, I agree, Keith. I agree. Um, I cannot work. Here's one. This Karen sums the situation up here nicely. I, I've said my tombstone needs to say she needed more time. My, my tombstone's going to say he sent too many emails. <laughs> <laughs> so, we can't work any harder than you already are. And I believe that that's why 500 people are on here today. It's why 500 people are giving up their Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning, or early hours of Sunday morning. We cannot, we cannot work any harder. So, let me give you an introduction. My name uh, is Paul Goff. I'm a published author of a book called A Healthy Habit. Look out for my new book uh, about to be published in um, hopefully May time. Um, I'm a former professional soccer physical therapist, multi-clinic owner from the UK. 
there's my office, uh, one of my clinics. Uh, that is the little window that you can see is where I'm coming to you live from right now. Uh, there's my book. There's me in my early years as a physio running on the pitch working in professional soccer. Uh, and my favorite role, uh, daddy to two uh, beautiful little boys. The one on the right has a little bit more hair these days, uh, but it's still beautiful blue eyes and uh, very blonde hair. And uh, that's Tobias. And the one on the left, that is uh, Harry. They are world famous, these two kids of mine. And uh, wherever I go, it's amazing. Um, the first topic of conversation is not how are you, Paul. It's um, how is Harry and Tobias. And my um, my kids don't know how lucky they are that so many people um, uh, want to know about them and wish them well wherever I go. So uh, that's my favorite role, um, undoubtedly, in everything that I do. Uh, if you follow my story, follow my journey, everything is with my two kids in mind. Um, I take them everywhere on my travels, and um, they have been to numerous internet marketing conferences. I think Harry was two when he was in his first conference. Um, so he has, hopefully, a bright entrepreneurial future in front of him, should he wish uh, to take it. Uh, I was crowned small business icon, winner of Infusionsoft Award, Award, uh, for best in class lead nurture and conversion systems last year won the award in front of 45,000 global um, customers for these systems that essentially uh, I'm going to teach you um, today so you can find me at paulgoffphysio.com is our website my book's The Healthy Habit. PT Profit Academy is my education site. And if you are um, not listening to the podcast, I share my story on the podcast, polgoff.com. Check us out there, the uh, Physical Therapy Business School podcast. So, house cleaning. We're about to get going. Turn off your cell phone. Close down your internet browser. Say bye to everybody in your home for the next two hours because we are going nowhere. We are on lockdown, all 500 and one of us, including me. Um, we're not going anywhere. Um, have a pen and paper handy to take notes and follow along. This is genuine teaching. I'm going to teach, teach, teach. I have slides, but I will talk. I will tell stories. I love to talk. This could even go three hours. So brace yourself. Um, I will not be leaving until I've shared with you everything that I think that you need to know to, to do everything uh, to help you to grow your business. Um, so focus, keyword. Um, Warren Buffett's number one word. Uh, he's a billionaire, by the way. Uh, asked uh, When asked what made him or what he believes made him so successful, focus keyword so the agenda my story i need to share it with you it's important that you understand uh, how i came to figure all of this stuff out and what i had to go through to learn these lessons that i'm about to teach you um, and how creating the systems that leverage automation changed my life it's been a, uh, an incredible journey case studies of other pts who have also had their practice changed how you can create these automated systems at your practice and how to accelerate the process of automating growth at your practice uh, with the help of an advanced systems mastery. I know a lot of people are on here to find out about Business Growth School. We will not be bringing that up till the end. Um, obviously, we've got it coming up uh, to start with. This is genuine, genuine um, teaching for the next 90 minutes. I'm going to share with you stuff that you can put into your play um, in your business on Monday morning. So my story, let's get going. Um, I started my career as a physical therapist in professional soccer. It was a dream job. I enjoyed it. I loved it. It was what I aspired to do and probably the reason that I thought back then was why I went into um, physical therapy in the first place. But I felt as though I was holding me back from fulfilling my true potential and being more entrepreneurial. So I quit. I started the Polgar Physio Rooms in 2007, the uh, first baby in my life. I got off to a good start, but things turned bad when the recession hit and insurance companies cut my reimbursements uh, by as much as 50% overnight. So in response to the insurance companies dictating my life, I felt I had no choice but to figure out a better way um, to grow my business. I set about studying um, what I now teach is called the education-based marketing uh, concept, and it worked like crazy. It really, really did. The education-based, uh, value-based, um, trust-based marketing system, it, it absolutely revolutionized my practice in more ways um, than I could ever have imagined. It literally exploded my business almost overnight. And we grew by 413% in less than 13 months when I look back at the um, 13 months after I quit the job and I put all of this stuff in play, uh, we grew phenomenally. But like I always say, and I teach it regularly, every time you solve a problem, so the first problem I had was I had no leads and I had no phone calls, but the next problem was this. I fixed that problem, but the next problem was this. I had a ton of dazzling ideas. I was building my new patient database with ease. We were getting more calls, more inquiries, and I was seeing a genuine new level of success. But pretty soon, my momentum fizzled and I felt like something was missing. Unfortunately, um, I was right. I was missing the one single thing that my business now really, really needed. Something to control the chaos. I thought winging it without any clear direction was perfectly fine way to build a business. Most people in the industry do it. 
and it was working well enough. I was making a profit, I was acquiring new patients, and I was growing. So I assumed I was doing something right. But one day, I realized I was caught up in the rat race. What is the rat race? A way of life in which I was trapped in a fiercely competitive struggle for more success, more recognition, and sadly, more money. And I had very little time left over for personal happiness or satisfaction. I realized that I was in a no-win situation because even if I did go on to win the rat race, it would only mean that I'd be crowned king of the rats. And I don't know about you, but I did not go to PT school um, to come out with all of that debt and be crowned king rat. So go ahead and type into the chat if you've ever felt like you're getting caught up in the rat race. Um, How does that describe you, your situation, how you're feeling right now? Who has felt like no matter what they do, they are just stuck in that rat race? Every single day I'm seeing, um, says Ryan, type into the chat. If you've ever felt like you've been caught up in this thing, constantly caught in the rat race, says Nick. Every day, says Ryan. Leslie says, want to work harder. Peter says, yes. Danelle says, yes. Megan says, yes. Marlene says, for sure. Definitely, says Lisa. Chasing my tail, says Alex. Jared says, yes. Keith says, yes, I work for longer for a larger company and I get frustrated daily over tedious tasks which are inefficient. That's what this is about. That's what we have to do. Systematize and automate the tedious tasks. This is flooding in. I can see every one of you typing in, yes. Work, work, work. Need more time for personal growth. Says Ke- Absolutely, Kellen, I agree. I feel that uh, the larger we get, the smaller the profit margins get, says Paul. Trying to cut down, but still doing 40 hours. So we're here. Collectively, we're in the right place. We, I think, all feel each other's pain. So I want you to picture this in your life every day. Stick this thing. See that in the bottom right-hand corner, the rat? Take a picture of that now. This should motivate the crap out of you to make the change. That thing there is what you are on a a collision course to be if we do not do something different. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing all day, every day, and expecting a different result. As my favorite business-building entrepreneur, Kevin O'Leary, would say, stop the madness. We have to stop the madness. Otherwise, that is what we're going to end up like. A collection of crowns, but not the ones we want. So take a screenshot of that. Here's what I want you to do for me. Screenshot that on your social media right now. Tag me in at the Paul Goff. Share it out and say an end to the rat race. Systems. Let's leave it behind. So I discovered that my business had become an organized mess, right? I was on course to win that race. No no questions asked. I was going to win it. I'd have beat Usain Bolt at the damn thing. I was that good at it. I discovered that my business had become an unorganized, unscalable mess. And all that was adding to the stress-related heart problems I was previously diagnosed with at the age of just 31. True story. True story. I've told it many times, and I will tell you if I meet you face to face. I live with a stress related heart condition that simply won't allow me to work any harder than is absolutely necessary. I can put the time and effort in, but I can't get to the point of worrying or feeling overwhelmed. If I do, I'm in trouble. I know about it later that same day, and the docs basically give me an ultimatum fix it, fix the root cause of it, or it's surgery and pills. One of the two. Which one do you want? And I figured out a way to basically still build my business and do the thing that I love, just avoid getting stressed and overwhelmed doing it. So it was during this time that I began to ask myself a lot of questions, such as this. Why do we business owners let things get so bad that it affects our health? And why do we wait until we realize that we've missed out on so many things with our family before we do something about it by stepping away from the daily grind of our business? Just take a look at that slide. Sums up most business owners. Why do we have to wait until we realize? Why do we wait till the damn car will not start before we take it to the garage, even though we knew for months that we needed to? That's what we do. That's what we're doing in business. We know it's bad. We know it's wrong. We know we need to make the change. We know it's not right. We know our health's been affected. We know we're not seeing the kids as much as we would like. We know we're only getting on vacation once every other year, and then we're proud of the fact that we got away once. That's that's madness it's not needed anymore in this day and age so why do we have to suffer the consequences before we do something about it by stepping away from the daily grind of the business 
Here's why. We do it because we're afraid that our business will fail without us being there all day, every day. That's it. We believe that only us can be there. And we believe that only us, we are the white knight in shining armor, then uh, only us can fix or solve any problems in the business. I can tell you that's not an accurate representation of reality. Businesses do not fail because an owner isn't there. Here's the thing. Screenshot this and share this out on social to business owners all over the world. Businesses fail because of what the owner doesn't do when he or she is there. It's not because of what's happening when you're not there. It's happening because of what you don't do when you are there. Looking back, the number one reason I was struggling to deal with the chaos was because of a lack of systems in my practice. And when I realized this, it was hard to accept that to grow my business and to essentially remain healthy, I would have to let go. It made me feel vulnerable insecure and fearful that the other people I employ would not provide the same high quality of care and service as I'd done to get the business to where it was. How many people, 500 people on here right now, how many people feel like that? Even if you're running a business or you're thinking of growing a business, you're just getting started, you're a solo practitioner, even Danielle, I know your situation, you're just starting to scale up. The prospect of employing staff frightens most people to death because you feel as though they won't provide the same quality of care and service. And if you feel that way about the future or you just feel that way right now, it's because you don't have the right systems in play at the business. I got it wrong. Spectacularly got it wrong. And since those crazy days, I've learned systematic ways for embracing and driving more sustainable growth at the Paul Goff Physio Rooms. I've got staff running the systems of the business for me and I've come out the other side with a much more profitable, hassle-free business and I can tell you that my life is a lot easier. In the last three years, I've created systems in my business that means my business runs like clockwork, whether I'm in the country or not. That means no more working harder than I absolutely have to. Sure, if I want to, I will. If I don't, I won't. I don't think I popped into the business this week, even though it's below me. No more rat race. That's the key. We cannot let you get in that rat race. You did not spend $150,000 to get stuck in a rat race with everybody else. Yes or no? It's insanity to be paying that damn thing off every month, $1,500 or whatever it is you pay for the sake of getting in the rat race. It has to be worth more to you than winning the rat race. And most importantly of all, there is no more missing out on my family time or feeling like I can't go somewhere or do something just in case something happens back at the business that only I can deal with. I've learned how to spend more time with my family and yet make more revenue and more money, grow and scale my practice successfully without having to be there. Have my name above the door, but have others do the work for me. Streamline operations so that we can spend more time with our patients, meaning we get better results. And this is the one. Read that last one. Because this is interesting. I don't think many people really get this. And I got into a a fight on Facebook recently with a guy who basically was like, oh, this is about money and this is about whatever. I was like, have you ever considered the fact that if I streamline my business with systems, I have more time in the business? What's the one single thing on earth that human beings value over anything other than their health? Time. Time. It means that my staff, clinically and service-wise, have more time than my competition for the people that we serve. They're not doing the trivial things. They're not doing the menial things because we have the systems, the automation doing it. It means we have time to literally walk down from the front of the desk to sit next to them on the couch and have a cup of coffee with them. My staff have full license to play like that all day, every day. Why? Because that's how we've created the business. That's the thing that the patients want. The patients want your time. My kids don't want money. They don't want prizes and toys and all that crap that people are gratifying their kids with what they want is our time period best advice i was ever given the day that harry was born don't buy him shit give him your time that's all he will crave all he wants is your time and it's so 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 true and it's the same with adults it's the same with patients the most valuable relationships that we have in life that you have in your life are governed by the time that that person affords you The people in your life that you respect the most, I can guarantee you, are the ones that you know that if you ring them, you go and see them, they switch down the TV, they 
stop talking to everybody else they switch their phone off and they feel or they make you feel like they've got all the time in the world for you since the day i put operation uh, streamline into my business to automate and grow using systems we've got more time we didn't fire anybody we didn't get rid of people we actually started employing more people because we realized that that was the biggest asset that we've got that's how we beat the ass off our competition all day every day and have done for a long time streamlining operations getting automation getting systems into your business means that your patients will get the one thing that they crave from you in a healthcare society right now where nobody's got time for them doctors literally open the door and waltz them out within seconds nobody's got time to answer the phone to them nobody's got time to answer their questions my brother's just gone through a horrific week finding out a very serious diagnosis and you know what the only thing that he wanted was somebody to open the damn door and sit with him and answer his bloody questions in less than the three minutes than the first doctor had for him that's the power of automation and systems if we can get your business to the point of being streamlined and automated so that you can have more time i guarantee you on every breath that comes out of my mouth right now that will be the leverage point that you're looking for that will be the thing that makes the difference that will be the thing that allows you to kick your ass or kick your competition's ass to the cab and ultimately get ahead in the game of business that's why this is so important and i'm so pleased that i figured out how to do it I've learned how to open in more locations with ease. We've since opened three more locations and how to get my business into a position that if I wanted, I could absolutely sell it for a handsome seven-figure uh, profit. I found time to begin to write a second book, soon to be published, look out for it. Start a second business in helping PTs like you become more successful. Invested in real estate. I've started a lucrative speaking career teaching my business systems to PTs all across the globe. I'm off to Canada next month. I've been invited recently over to Ireland to speak to India this is the type of thing that you can do if you have the systems in place and it doesn't take long to do to get to that point massive for me i've got friends all over the world that my kids can call upon in a few years friendships with people in san diego san francisco miami phoenix austin all over the world fabulous i could never have done any of that without the systems that i've got i can take my kids last year we spent 22 weeks of the year um, with my family out of britain the business still grew I can travel all over the world. That's us on the flight to Australia, Florida. We went to see Mr. Obama at the time. San Diego, where my sister was living. Philadelphia, the Rocky Steps. New York City. Gary V in Phoenix. Hollywood Park with Harry looking cool. Florida to meet PTs all over the world. David Brewer. These days I work less, but we make more without bumbling and fumbling through the process of growing a business. And I've realized that the more systems that I have in my business, the easier it is for me to position myself out of the business. The personal satisfaction I get from owning it, check, check this out. This is, this is high level thinking. This is, this is the one. The personal satisfaction that I get from owning a successful business that helps people live active and healthy lives is my justification for the work that it takes and the debt that it took me to get there. But the long periods of time that I get to spend with the kids doing what we want, when we want, that's the reward. That's the reward. And there is a significant difference between justification and reward. It gets better. I'm not the only physical therapist who has benefited from these types of systems. I've since taught hundreds of PTs from around the world, including Andrew Vett, and runs one of the most successful businesses in the US. Scaled it from nothing to three soon to be four five six and seven clinics um from nothing because he uses these types of systems within 10 months of using the systems that i'm going to teach you today uh intercore pt grew by 30 percent, and that's in california a state where there's been huge cutbacks in insurance reimbursement fees even better i'm able to spend four days per week at home pick his gals up from school when he wants and also found time to start a second business called PT Clinic Metrics. He teaches PT business owners now all over the world how to better manage their clinic numbers, something which has been a long time dream of his. Uh, couldn't have done it without the systems that we are teaching you today. And by the way, there is none more important than having systems in play to track numbers in your business. If you are wanting to grow, you are wanting to scale a business, you can't do it without systematically tracking the numbers and andrew is one of the best in the world um, at doing it case study from oliver within three months of using paul systems double the number of appointments at my practice able to hire a full-time secretary meaning he does less of the paperwork and he can spend more of that so he does less of the 15 dollar an hour work and more valuable time with patients 
or even more valuable time at home with his family uh, and now in a position to be searching for a staff PT so that he can spend even more time uh, doing more of the things um, that he wants. That's from Oliver in um, in Michigan. So have your handout ready, um, pen and paper at the ready, and let's start to take some notes. So to be clear, I just want to make this um, very obvious. This is not just about showing you how to grow your business so that you can spend 22 weeks of the year in other countries. It, it isn't about that. It's much more important than that. It's about me showing you how to create the freedom of choice so that when all of this is done, when all of this is done, only takes six or seven weeks to get all of these things in play, you can do with your business what the heck you want. That's it. You might not want to travel the world for 22 weeks of the year, but whatever it is that you want to do, how you will do it is no different to how I did it. So type into the chat if we are clear on that and we're going to get going. We are um, going to get going with some real actionable content. We always start with the high level stuff first. So type into the chat. You don't mind if I have a a little glass of water. Just type into the chat that we're all good, ready to rock and roll, clear. Good. Right. Systems plus automation, the foundation for a successful PT clinic that grows without you. Most business owners have no real systems. So why, why do systems work? Why are these things going to work for you? Most of them have no systems. What they have is a system of sorts that is usually kept in the owner's head. I think we're all guilty of that. It's how many of the systems are in your head and how many of the most important ones that only you know. Why? Here's why. Here's why this all happens. So whatever your situation is right now, whether you are brand new, whether you are uh, aspiring to grow this business rapidly and you just want the right framework to work from, at the beginning, when we start out in the business, the systems are not needed. Why would they be? Because it's just you. It's just Danelle right now. Why would Danelle think that she has to have all of these things written down? Because she knows how to do the work that she knows how to do. Makes sense. So, most people never expect to grow so big. Or, as I believe is the truth, didn't dare to dream this big. Didn't dare to dream that one day they could be like Andrew Vertin or a Jerry Durham or somebody who's doing sensationally well since starting a business. They never dreamed, even though they you know, they got going and they opened the first site, most people don't dare to dream that it's actually possible for themselves to get so big. So let's start with a simple definition of a system. It is how you do the work of your business. How you differentiate between you and all the other PTs in town. What makes you different? How you welcome new patients to the clinic. These are the important things that you should be systematizing. How the receptionist greets patients and interacts with them. How staff PT and receptionists answer commonly asked questions. Do they get the answer the same time every time? Or do they have what I call variability evils, which kill businesses, and have the question answered multiple different ways? How, get, uh, how to get great testimonials online? How to ask for referrals? Systems can help you build something bigger that you still run, but you don't have to work so hard in anymore. At a minimum, systems will help you stop doing the stuff you don't like and get back to serving patients better doing the stuff that you love. So next, let's consider the definition of automation. The use of technology or software to make important processes happen the same way every time. Automation does not mean that you're trying to cut out humans from your business, nowhere. You're trying to cut out their mistakes or failings, the things that frustrate the crap out of you as you try to build a business. We are human, you and I included, Staff are human, we are all fallible to making mistakes or failings, and that's fine. We're all going to continue to do that. The most successful businesses are the ones who can minimize the mistakes or the failings so that it doesn't bring the house down, so that it doesn't feel as though as a business owner you're constantly putting out fires, so busy that you are putting out the fires you couldn't see who started the bloody fires in the first place. You are always rebalancing the equilibrium. That's that's what we're trying to move you away from. Does that make sense? That... Most businesses are busy working on the wrong stuff. Most business owners are stressed and tired today because they're working on the wrong stuff. They're so busy putting out the fire, too busy they are to see who started the thing to go and fix it because it's a constant state of emergency. And when the fire's out, we've just rebalanced the equilibrium. No progress, just constant firefighting. That's why we have to do this. It's about the humans in your business leveraging automation so that more things get done right every time whether you are there or not so next let's consider another definition of automation occurring spontaneously 
without conscious thought or attention. Occurring spontaneously without conscious thought or attention. The problem for most businesses is that the spontaneous reaction from their staff isn't always the one they wanted it to be. And isn't that the truth? How many times have you taught somebody something that when they were put in the situation to actually do the thing that you taught them to do, their first reaction was not the thing that you taught them to do? And it keeps going on and on and on and on and on. And it's 25 years in. And the damn thing's still going on. An example. Ask your staff PT or receptionist to describe what a PT even does. I can promise you with every breath as I look at you right now, they will give you a different answer. If you have 20 people in your organization, you will get 20 different answers. I was at CSM and spoke at, at um, sorry, at the PPS conference in November in Chicago. 10,000 people were there. 10,000 PTs. I guarantee you if I asked every single one of them what a PT even does, I'd have got 10,000 different answers. And we wonder why the profession is in a bit of a mess that it currently is. We can't even agree on what we actually do. The thing or the answer to the question needs to be an automatic response that is an accurate representation of the value that you add to people's lives. Show them the value. That's what everybody says. Everywhere I go, you've got to show them the value these days. You have to show people the value. I agree. We have to agree on what the value is. And we have to be able to communicate it clearly, on point, every single time. Because if they aren't clearly able to articulate this every time. So this is going on in your office, Monday morning. Well, what do you do? Doctor sent me, what do you do? Well, I don't know why I'm here. They might not ask that question, but I promise you it's going on in their brain. I promise you. And if you can't clearly articulate this every time, systematically, how can they convince a patient of the true value of what you do when faced with copay issues or when they hear the words, cash pay, and the time bomb goes off? They can't. If you have a secretary or somebody in your office and that phone is ringing on Monday morning and you haven't systematized the way they answer the phone, I guarantee you by Friday, he or she will have answered the phone 25 different ways. There's the very ability evil that is killing your business right now, causing you to work way harder than you need to be, causing you to be frustrated, to shout, to rant, to let off stream, to shoot from the hip, when that's not the way you want to be. That's not the way you want to live your life. So they can't. And with that in mind, let me show you the seven critical automation elements of my business that lets me travel well for 22 weeks of the year. This is number one, the most important, automating the USP. This is your unique serving proposition. Um, so this is not just about creating one. A lot of people can create one. Anybody can create a USP. How do you get it on point every time throughout the journey that the patient goes on with you in your business? That's the bit that not many people have probably taught you. It's how you answer the question of what makes you different from your competition. It's not just something you say. It's not just something you have on your website. It's not just something you spout out. It's how you, at every point of the journey that the patient goes on, you are able to answer the question. You use it in all of your marketing and clinic processes to regularly communicate what makes you different from your competition. It's how you're able to demonstrate the real value of what you do for people in exchange for their call pay or their cash in such a way that they can easily justify paying for it. Read that again. Because it's one thing saying what you do. It's one thing telling them the price. And it's one thing saying you're good and you're experienced and you're qualified. But this is about how at every point, every touch point, every interaction in your business, and I'm going to ask you to truly ask yourself, are you doing it at every step of the way? I'm aware that you might have heard of a USP before. It might be on your website. You might have read a book on it. But have you got it happening at every point in your business? Do you even know at what points you should be interacting? At what point you should be communicating it? And where the opportunities are in the business that even if the patient doesn't ask for it, you ram it down their throat so that you can demonstrate the real value of what you do so that when it comes to the co-pay conversation, when it comes to the cash conversation, they can justify giving you the money. That's what automating the USP is about. If your entire staff aren't clear on what your USP is, then business growth is impossible. And not knowing it opens to uh, you to what I call apples to apples comparison with every other PT in town that Greg, Aaron, and Jared are inspiring to open their clinics right now. You're all going to be the same. 
Somebody has to stick a fork in the ground and go, I'm going to be different. Because if all the advertising looks the same, all the messages look the same, all of the websites look the same, you're going to get the same. That's the problem. And not knowing this USP, and more strategically, not knowing how to interwine it into everything that you do in your business, is why most marketing fails. And why a lot of PT uh, business owners these days are running into more and more issues with things like copay. It's not because of money. People are going out today spending money on things that they just don't necessarily need, just makes them feel good. They can justify giving the money over to that business. So as your business runs into these copay and cash issues, you can choose to live in one or two wells. One, it's not my fault. It's the government's fault. It's the economy's fault. It's the state of the town's fault. Or you can go, it's my fault because we're not communicating the value. We're not systematizing these things. We haven't trained the staff properly. We haven't even understood what a USP is. We haven't got it going on in the business. But once we get it, we can move away from the helpless world over here to the world over here where you take control and you change the outcome. When it comes to describing what they do, most uh, businesses will say they do something like, here we go, we get you out of pain or we recover function. Great. That's fine. But the problem is, that's what my competition is saying as well. That's what your competition is. What do you do? Well, we get you out of pain. We recover function. Get your movement back. Great. Great. You and everybody else. How am I able to determine where I want to spend my money? How am I able to look at that business and go, I'm happy to pay you an extra $50, Paul, because it appears as though you're going to be able to solve my problem significantly different and better as I see it than the other five people that Google showed me after I did the search on my iPhone. You need something that is a lot more emotive and speaks to the person in such a way that makes them come to their own logical conclusion that you're the perfect PT clinic able to solve their specific problems. That's what a USP is about. And crucially, in such a way that they are able to justify paying the extra costs now associated with the healthcare. If you're getting pushed back today, nobody wants to pay your cash rates, nobody wants to pay their copay, they don't want the 10 sessions, it's because they can't justify paying it. Not because they haven't got it, it's because they can't justify paying the costs. And we haven't done a good enough job of systematizing it, making it real enough for them so that they can confidently make a decision. Make sense? Everybody follow? So my clinic's unique serving proposition, as was just asked by Maria. Here it is. At the Paul Goff Physio Rooms, we help people keep active, mobile, and free from painkillers and out of the doctor's office. That's what we do. It's interwoven into everything that we do, making marketing and payment money conversations much more successful. There's not much mention of physiotherapy on my website because it's so not what people want. It's the skill that gets them what they want. But unfortunately, people do not value skills of service providers. You might not like that, but that's the truth. What they value is the outcome provided by the service, and the skills of that service provider significant difference because all that matters and i told this to the, everybody i spoke to at um, pps in in november all that matters is not how we see it not how we think it's how they see it and the moment that you stop thinking about how they see it you will lose in business and rightly so rightly so it's about them and what they see and what they want not about what we want for them we might lead with love it doesn't matter it's about what they're outcome is what do they want and the moment you make people have to start to think about whether that means the same thing you will lose them in business the best thing you can ever uh, take to your day is that confused buyers buy nothing confused buyers buy nothing so i'm able to take the usp and interwine it into everything that i do there it is in a uh, postcard and there it is on the front of my office i wrote a book on it I'm able to interwine the thing that my perfect patient wants into all of my marketing messages. And that's a skill. That takes, you know, I was taught how to do that over a period of time. But once you get it and once you understand not just what your USP is, that's easy. Anybody can create a USP, copy anybody's. But the skill is, how do you use it? 
How do you systematize it? How do you get it into your systems? How do you get it into the welcome sequence? How do you get it into the emails? How do you get it into your social media? How do you get it onto the front of your shop or your book so that everywhere your patients look, they truly understand what you do and what makes you different from everybody else in your town? So here's a fun task. Ask the staff of most organizations, what does this clinic do? I guarantee that you will get something completely different. If there's more than one PT in your office right now, I bet you two can't even agree on the definition of that, let alone what your organization does. If you're watching this with somebody right now in your office, husband, wife, partner, who's a significant investment in that business, both of you write down on a piece of paper, the other one can't see what your definition is of what you do. Turn the page over and see what you write. I guarantee you, you will have two different things. And that's the problem. So after the webinar's over, this week, email me and tell me what everybody said and how wildly different your definitions of what you do actually are. It, this will shock you and make you realize how bad um, of a problem it actually is. So why do you need to do this? Because if your staff aren't clear on what you really do, how can you expect them to consistently serve in the way that you want them to when you're not there? Remember, we're doing everything, we're covering every base so that however this business gets built, whether you want to exit it one day, whether you want to grow it, you want to scale it, you want to have five offices in Chicago, you want to have 10 offices in Seattle, you're not going to be there every minute of every day. And this is about getting the foundation right and the framework from which you can grow so that these patients will be served in the same way that you want them to be, whether you are there or not. And getting clear on the USP means you can use it in all of your marketing materials so that you can improve your communication with potential new patients to win. So number two system, value added welcome system. What is it? Simply, it's what we do to make the patient feel special and welcome before they arrive. Before they arrive, not when they arrive, before they arrive and it amazes me how many businesses wait till you get to their clinic wait till you get there wait till you start paying the bill before they give you some love the big thing that i love about this business the love starts weeks before weeks before you even consider becoming a patient we're adding value well before it even comes to the clinical skills that we've got that's what makes you different colors on websites and logos do not make your business different Fancy images, shutter stock images, all that crap that everybody thinks makes a difference makes no difference. What makes the difference is what goes on before they get there when it comes to value. Value can be loaded on significantly before they even op the, open the door for the first time in your clinic or pull up in the car park. It's the 21st century. We have to start using systems to show value in advance. And that's how you will grow a very successful business we can give them a clear understanding of what they're really paying for before they are asked to pay for it at my clinic you are not just paying for pt i could never charge twice the price of my competition if it was all about just the pt never it's madness to think that people will pay more if they think they can get the same thing so i've had to move into the experience game not just the providing pt game that's why people are stuck Business owners today in our profession are stuck because they're all competing with each other, thinking that a couple of more clinical skills will make the difference. That's fine if you want to be an employee all your life. If you want to be a business owner, you've got to get into the experience game because they're not just paying for PT. At my clinic, if it's $150, a hundred's for the PT, 50's for the experience and the way I make you feel before, during, and after doing business with me. Before, during, and after being in the treatment room and that is your pass out of the crap in the hellhole that's being created in this profession right now you cannot exist on being a better pt alone and think that you're going to grow a more successful business it's insanity it's madness so how do we do it well from day one patients get entered into our automation software they now can be sent a sequence of emails telling them more about the practice we can reinforce our usp which i've just described and explain who we help and how this makes the prescription a lot easier for the pt come the day of the evaluation we aim to put them at ease with videos and information that confirms they made the right decision no buys remorse it's saturday afternoon people have been out shopping today they've spent lots of money how many of them will wake up tomorrow thinking, I wish I never bought that extra pair of shoes. I wish I didn't spend that $300 on them jeans or that top or that new phone. 95% of them, that's how many. Buyer's remorse is real. It happens. 
Just because they've booked an appointment at your practice does not mean that they are thrilled to be going. It's torturous. When people make decisions, the next thing that they do is constantly second-guess themselves about whether or not they've made the right decision. That's why people drop off. That's why people don't show up ready to say yes. If you get people dropping off, if you've got people arriving at your practice not saying yes to a full plan of care, it's because you do not have this working for you in your business. You are letting buyer's remorse sink in. The purpose of this system is so that when they arrive at your business, certainly in my business, you're done. You're in the game. There's no decision to make. You're in, the blood's pumping, you're open, you're happy, you're smiley, the blood's in the cheeks, you're open, you're listening, and you're ready to say yes. You cannot wait to say yes. Contrast that with most businesses. Gee, most patients arrive frightened to death. Sit down on a crappy, outdated waiting room chair that reminded me of being in school, that if I'm lucky, a 15-year out-of-date magazine is all I've got to look forward to. And they wonder why they don't say yes. It's madness. They're closed off. They're not wanting to say yes. They're frightened. They think they're going to get ripped off. They are looking for more reasons to say no than yes. That's the modus operandi of businesses today. That's why buyer's remorse exists. So you have to get them further informed and enlightened so that they show up warm and happy to say yes. It's not just enough to get them there. That's easy. It's getting them there in a position that they are ecstatic to be there is the name of the game and how you will scale a business without you being there and confidently grow this little business of yours. Contrast that with most clinics. The patients show up with nothing but a bunch of insurance forms and questions about how much it all costs. Yes or no? That's it. Welcome to my clinic. Here's a form. Sign your life away. Sit in the corner on your own, I'll close this glass thing in front of me and I'll wait for you to run into problems on the form that's 20 pages long that confuses you even more and makes you less likely to want to say yes to the full plan of care that I need you to say yes to and the $50 per session that you're responsible for or the $200 for cash. Is it just me? Or, or, or am I seeing something like, am I seeing a different thing? Like, it's madness. Business owners today are getting what they tolerate because they will not get off their ass and do things like this. Hats off to the 500 people on this webinar. Like This is the difference that will make the difference. You can go on all of the Con Ed courses you want and clinical skills courses that you want. It will make zero difference to how well you are able to run a business. There is a significant difference between the skills needed to fly a plane and fix the plane. Never forget that. These are the skills you're going to need in your business. The systems that will change the way people arrive at your practice, making it much more likely that they will stay on schedule and be ecstatic to be there, not begrudgingly arrive for physical therapy. So the value-added welcome sequence, I call it giving patients the warm, fuzzy feeling before we exchange expertise for cash. Understand that. I'm going to give you something before you give me something. That's, That's human nature. You do something for me. I'll do something for you, like say yes to a plan of physical therapy and show up and behave properly and pay my bills. Make me feel good before I give you the money. Don't do what all the other businesses do and say, oh yeah, we love our patients. We do, we do. Sure, when the bloody credit card comes out, you do. Give me some love before I get there and use systems to do it. So an example of how we do it, email number two sent within 24 hours of booking an appointment. Do I have to take my clothes off? Is the subject line. And that's how it appears. There's an email. I, I've screenshotted it for you. It's the exact email. Uh, video, do I have to take my clothes off? Uh, and you can see my staff on video. And that's an email from me that goes out two days after my patient uh, books an appointment with me. All automated through the systems um, that we use. Um, and there's the video. It's on YouTube. It's had thousands of hits from uh, from patients. And the title and the whole narrative of the video is, do I have to take my clothes off? And it's a very fun video um, of my staff who are, or of Vicky, describing a situation Vicky's well famous, as more famous or as famous as my kids. Um, she works in the business below. And she uh, came to see me as a patient. And, and the story was, now very famous story, of how uh, she asked me if she needed to take her clothes off. Uh, this was before she was a staff member. And I said, no, you don't, Vicky. But she uh, didn't hear me uh, correctly. She was nervous. She was cold. This was before all of these systems. She was very nervous when she came through the door and started to take her clothes off. And I was like, no, 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 you, you don't need to do that. And to this day... 
uh, we've joked about it many times and she started to tell the patients about uh, it when somebody asked, do I have to take my clothes off? And she told the story of how, obviously, when she was a patient, she thought she needed to take her clothes off and uh, what could have been a very embarrassing situation for her, uh, having to uh, potentially have taken her clothes off in front of a uh, soon-to-be future boss. Now, that whole situation transpired and uh, Vicky was great and we had a lot of fun uh, together and, and I just thought she's a, a wonderful person that I'd love to have at the front of house in my business because she's the type of person that I think that if we grow this business, um, she will be able to support me and, and give the patients the love that I want to give them. And it turned out to be true. And at the front of the, the system is this video. So we realized that the patients were uh, hysterical when Vicky told them and put them at ease instantly. So we thought, well, why why would we wait for them to arrive to tell them that story? Let's use the technology, let's use the automation, put it on a video and get them to watch it before they arrive. Unbelievable things happen when people watch that video before they arrive. They reply to the email. Remember, they're getting an email two days after they've booked an appointment. So they're still to have their first interaction with us. They watch this video and they reply to the email telling us how ecstatic they are that they've hired us. We get emails every day in this office saying, I know I made the right decision. That video made me laugh. You guys are great. I'm so glad I hired you. All they've done is watch the damn video. We haven't touched them. We haven't subjectively assessed them. We haven't objectively assessed them. We haven't done all of the things that everybody will be telling you makes the difference. Those things will take care of themselves. I'm sure you're all clinically sound enough to be world-class at that. This is the difference that makes the difference. This is the bit that gets people comfortable, warm, open, all of the things that you need, by the way, to get people to say yes to buying from you. And for the cash PTs on this pod, on this uh, webinar right now, and anybody who's got copay issues, deductibles issues, you have to understand that this is what makes the difference. This is what gets people comfortable, happy, emotional. We make emotional decisions, not logical. If you leave it all to scale, it's all about logic and you'll lose. You will not be able to scale the business if it's all about logic. So why is this important? The physical therapy is what they expect us to do. The experience, the thing that they're really paying for that makes the difference to my profits is the thing that they didn't expect us to do. We can be good at what we do in the treatment room, but if we're focusing on it, we will lose to the PT who gives patients a better experience. There's not a single business out there from Disney to Apple and Zappos, these world, world, world-class companies who are not in the experience game. Zappos is not in the shoe game. It's in the experience game. Disney's not in the theme park game. It's in the experience game. These are the times. These are the things that we have to do. We have to use the systems to get people into them. Since we started it, we get less no-shows and less resistance to care plans. And even if this is the best thing about it, my secretaries are fallible. We are all human. If one of them is having a bad day, the patient still gets to experience what we're really all about as a clinic. Whether I'm in America, whether I'm in Australia, whether I'm in Britain, whether I'm in Canada, my little touch is still getting to the patient on point every single time, whether or not somebody has a bad day in my office or not. So, number three, the win-back system. It's a way of reversing the decision of a patient who originally said no. Huge, massive, a win-back system. Think about it. How many people have called your office in the last year five years, 10 years, however long you've been in business and either um, made an inquiry but didn't book or start treatment and then dropped off. Just have a second to think about it. Have a second. Just do a little calculation. One a week, four a month, 50 a year, five years, 250 people. I bet for most businesses, significantly more. I bet for most businesses on this webinar, they won't even dare to think about how many that number actually will be because it will be so big. Think about it. Number of times that phone rang, didn't book. Number of times phone rang, did book, dropped off. Number of times got onto a plan of care, dropped off. Thought that the physio was calling them back and they're not. Thought that somebody was going to get in touch with them. Thought that the patient was going to get back and didn't. Just write that number down. Now multiply it by a thousand. Now multiply that 100, that 250, that 500 patients, however big your business is and however long you've been involved in business. And if you're brand new in business and you're just getting going, just imagine doing or falling into the trap of allowing that to happen to your business right now where one patient every week who makes an inquiry doesn't and all of a sudden we're five years down the line 
and that's 250 people. Multiply it by 1,000 and tell me what figure you've got. Type it into the chat and read it and weep. Read it and weep as you type that into the chat. I can see some very sad faces in this chat right now. My guess is for almost everybody on this webinar, your mortgage would soon be being significantly sliced in half. That much money. Because for most of us, that's where we lose money in business as we grow. That's the bit that we lose control of as we lose a little bit of control, as we lose a little bit of attention on every clinic, on every staff member. That's the bit that costs us. I can tell you that for, let's say there's 500 of those people multiplied by 100, we're in serious, serious numbers that you are missing out on and not getting. Even if you get one third of those people back, if the number was 100 and it was 1,000 dollars per patient significant sums of money even if we get one third of those patients to come back which i know is possible i can guarantee you is possible because they don't go elsewhere they don't get the problem fixed and even if they do go elsewhere they usually get a crappy service and wish that they came back to you work out what a third represents and we're being conservative enough to put a bit of breathing space between you and the mortgage company the student loans company what would your bank account look like right now if you had a third of that back? What would it be worth to you? I remember, somebody's wrote SHIT in this chat right now. I remember having this conversation with Dean Volk when I first met him a couple of years ago. And when I introduced this to Dean's business and we looked at putting this in play two years ago, his reaction was, don't quote, I'm going to put a little bit of English twang into it, but it was something along the lines of, holy shit, if I'd have done this when I started my business, I'd have paid for my house in Charleston for cash outright by now. That much money. That much money. That If you do not have this win-back system in play in your business, like, man, like, come on. You need it. It's worth thousands to you. It's a way of reversing the decision of a patient who originally said no to help them to say yes. It is one of my most profitable systems. Most patients leave a PT clinic and the owner thinks that it was only down to money that the patient said no. The default answer of every business owner on this earth when a patient doesn't book or buy is that it must be the money. How about you take responsibility for it and you didn't show them enough value? You didn't do something that they needed you to do. Don't ask what you did do, ask what you did not do. Because that's where the answer is to the problems that will solve the business frustration and heartache that you've got. Ask what are we not doing? So the patient didn't probably leave because of money. It was just the wrong time. There was something going on at home, cash flow issue, got a bit nervy, didn't see results, didn't see as fast as they needed it to, or whatever. But it doesn't mean that they went away and solved the problem. It means that two or three months later, if you have a win-back system, a system in play designed to get them back, they will come back as better patients. For most patients, they make excited decisions at the beginning to come and see you. Doctor refers them, they think they're going to get their problem solved. They have no clue what it's going to cost them. They arrive, they're slapped in the face with a huge bill or a potential huge bill and a massive time commitment and they say, no, thank you. I, I haven't got the money. It's the only thing that they know how to say to you to get out of the situation. And so they drop off and so they tell you they'll call you back and so they tell you they'll you know, get back to you when the time's right. And so your secretary says, okay. And that's the end. That's the end of the relationship. And meanwhile, there goes the money out the door. And a year later and five years later and 10 years later in business, we're probably now into six figures that you've lost because you don't have a system in play to get at least a third of these people. And I'm being conservative with a third. You can get more. The expense is always the only thing that people can say to slow their decision making. Whenever they're nervous and whenever they're frightened and whenever they think they're going to make a wrong decision and get burned, and why wouldn't they? They tell you it's money. And it's rarely the case. A month or two later, here's the reality of what happens to every single one of those patients who tells you that they'll drop off, they'll call you back, and they haven't got the money. They still have not received the care that they need. So the knee pain's still there, they're still not going to CrossFit, they are still suffering with a pelvic floor problem, and so on and so on. Nothing changed, except they now accept that they really need what you do. They actually experienced a little bit more of the dark. I love it when patients drop off my... Uh, um, plan of care and they go and sample that 
wonderful thing called the National Health Service because it makes my service look 10 times better when they come back. I just needed to realise, and thankfully I did, that it was just a case of setting up a system and let the system and the process win out. And it does. Significantly more times than I ever believed was possible. So the system works because it's very unlikely that a patient will call you back of their own free will. Why? Because they feel silly and stupid for saying no to you a few weeks ago. They also think that you think that they're tight. That it, Because they blame money, that you think they were just tight. And by the way, most business owners do. It's the fair, or they just didn't want to pay. They didn't see the value. But it's your job to show them the value. Or hang in till they do with a system that makes that possible without you or anyone in your office having to work so hard. That's what the system does. So all of this is getting in the way of them from ever coming back to see you, even though they want to. So I have a system for nurturing that patient back to my clinic. On average, six out of 10 patients come back to us within three months. Three months. The system goes on much longer, but within three months, we can get six out of 10 back on average. And like I said, they're always better patients. So your scenario, you provide a wonderful service and care at your practice. Time just wasn't right right now. Or they said it's the money. Fine. They can get a cheaper service elsewhere. And they go and experience the mill-like crappy clinics around the corner and are treat like a billable unit. And nobody even recognizes them or knows their name four sessions in. You can't tell me that when they come back to your care, Danelle, I know I'm pointing you out, Danelle, but I'm going to keep using your name. They come back to Danelle and Danelle gives them all of the love in the world, remembers their name, welcomes them back with open arms like a long lost child. They're going to like you even more. They're going to respect Danelle even more. Why? Because they experience the dark side. There's no back chat now. There's no, oh, I, I can't book in next week. It's tell me when, Danelle. Because the alternative is the dark side, the mill-like crappy PT clinic that treats them like a billable unit. You cannot fail with a win-back system. Number four. Everybody keeping up? 500 still on. Wonderful. Good work. The never-ending discharge system. What is it? It's a systematic way of keeping in touch with our patients long after their care finishes. Keywords, long after their care finishes. Again, typical scenario. Patient checks in, gets a few sessions, checks out. Clinic never contacts them again. Never contacts them again. Sits and waits for the phone to ring some eight years later when the patients realize that they need to come back. And the business owner is proud of the system that he's got, which says we, we, we pride ourselves on past patients coming back to see us. And I'm like, yeah, every nine years when they remember to pick up the phone, even though they meant to do it four and a half years ago. And you're proud of that? You want to live like that? You're happy to rely on people's indecision, indecisiveness, forgetfulness, that even though they know they need to call you, because what gets done any time gets done no time. They usually take an extra three years to do the damn thing that they wish they'd done three years ago. There is a reason that 96% of businesses go bust. It's because they all do the same thing. They all think the same way. And one of the ridiculous ways of thinking for business owners that are tired, stressed, and broke is that we rely upon past patients and word of mouth. Good for you. Good for you, Mr. 25 years in business. Tired, stressed, ridiculously frustrated, hasn't seen his kids grow up, and didn't get what he wanted from his business, or she didn't get what she wanted from her business because of it. It's that way of thinking that gets business owners into trouble. You need a system that makes it predictable and reliable for these people to come back and see you. Does everybody get what I'm following here? Or are you following? I, I ho truly hope so. Because for most business owners, their concept that past patients coming back to see them is a good thing. And it is. But not if you're waiting for them to decide. Not if you're living by the chance that they'll give you a call. Because for everyone that does call you, there's another seven who need to who are not. Because you haven't got a system in play that makes it predictable and reliable and sustainable that they will come back sooner than they would have done, if at all. Everybody follow? So we need a sequence of automated emails pre-written to engage with it constantly and connect with patients. On discharge, the patient gets entered into our CRM software. I'm actually going to go back to this because I, I, I can't make a big enough point of it. 
everywhere I go, I've got friends in business, and they'll tell, oh, we don't need to market. You know, we don't need systems. We we've got good we've got good loyal customers who come back to us all the time. I'm like, what do you mean all the time? He's like, yeah, yeah. You know, they come back. They come back whenever the need is. Well, how how often's that? Well, every you know, every once in a while. Well, can you tell when they're going to come back? Are you sure that they're going to come? No, they just call us when they need us. Do they? How do you know? And how can you sleep at night with a business that is basically waiting by chance for the phone to ring? When was the last time your business experienced any serious growth? Oh, we're doing all right. Yeah, we're we're, we're doing all right. You know, we, we've stayed the same for a few years, but the economy's bad, and we're waiting for it to, to 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 resurrect itself. It's nothing to do with the economy. You haven't got the systems in play that make it more likely that people will come back and give you money. That's how you get growth in businesses. There's a difference between patients that refer themselves randomly and patients, past patients who refer themselves because of a system that made it more likely that they'll come back more often and sooner. Massive difference. The 96% wait for the phone to ring. The 4% who survive and thrive in business they have a system which makes it very much more likely, very much predictable that the phone will ring. Big, big difference that I need you to understand. So it also includes pre-scripted 24-hour and 30-day phone calls, and we frame these things as quality control. The 30-day 30 uh, phone call snags gets the attention of at least 3 out of 10 patients who want to come back for more treatment. It gets us more referrals, so again, let, let me go back to that bit. Important. Why does it snag people at 30 days? Because a lot of people who got discharged probably shouldn't have been. A couple of people got discharged too early, thought everything was all right, stopped doing their exercises, stopped following all the advice that they were doing while they were in your care, and relapsed. So having a system in play that forces what we use in Fusionsoft sends tasks reminders to my front desk team that basically say it's been 30 days since Mr. Jones has been discharged, Give him a call and follow this script. The email is waiting in front of Vicky and she cannot not do it. It's there and it will follow her every day until she calls him. It makes it predictable that we do this stuff, that we get on the phone after 30 days and say, Mr. Jones, how are you? Are you 100%? If he says no, good. Let's start the plan to get you back. So get us more referrals because we can put in the emails and we can ask at the 24-hour um, graduation call, as we call it. Sarah gets on the phone and says, hey, you know, you finished your care with us. Good. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. All right, good. Can we get uh, you to fill out this form? We use a, a secret software that uh, we've been working with a company on that allows a text message to be sent to them that basically they just type into their phone a text message what they want to say about us it sends it to the software and the software we can decide whether it goes to facebook whether it goes to google or whether it goes to a yelp review we can put these soft we can put these reviews up online at will it's been one of the best things we've ever done but it's all part of the system we can put in emails we can do it on a phone call we can ask for referrals in our emails we've got systems set up for people to fill out forms to refer friends to us and so on and so on we ask them for testimonials. We can have an email that says, would you be willing to come and do a video? Great, hit reply. We'll fix up the time. We've got more videos, uh, testimonials on YouTube than ever before. We've got reviews with links to Google and Facebook going out. We've got them connecting with us on social media, which uh, forms lifelong relationships. Fabulous social media post we've had going this week, which has had something like 150 shares, 150 likes, 150 um, comments, and has been watched. Um, it's a video something like four or 5,000 times. The reason that we've got that many people in the community is because of the discharge system which forces them or asks them, makes it more likely that they will follow us so that we can keep in touch with them everywhere. And and we have opportunities for upsells, for the cash upsell, um, for them to buy other products and services. If it's done in the right way as part of this system, you can add significant revenue to your, bo to your bottom line. Uh, we also build the system out so that it asks them to come back and see us at 6 and 12 months for a review or a top up of their health. The very nature of just asking gets 2 out of 10 people to come back and see us. So we um, do all of this one time, doesn't take long to set it up and the system has been in play for years. Now all we have to do is refine it, optimize it to get better results as the years go on. But the system has been in place for quite a while. Why is it important? Well for most businesses, the last thing that the patient remembers is the sound of the credit card machine taking their money. Think about it. The interaction that you have, usually the last thing that you have with businesses, is the sound of the credit cards, the little you know, tear that happens when you tear off the slip and you get your receipt. Thanks for doing business with us. 
That's it. There's not much more to it. This is my chance to ensure that full value for their dollars is received and most importantly, felt. The best saying in business, they don't remember what you do for them, but they'll always remember how you made them feel. 101 business. They do not remember what you did for them in the treatment room, but they always, always and forever remember how you make them feel. How do you feel? How do they feel right now with your business? What's the last thing they're getting from you? I'm going to ask you to dig deep and think. I do not give up on the relationship just because they aren't giving me money and now that they're better. The system plays out. If you trust the process, you follow the system, my system will play out for two or three years long after you've been discharged. And the hope is that we've done something to make it significantly more likely that they'll come back and see us uh, in a predictable way, which allows growth to happen. We're not at the mercy of them deciding. It also ensures that the first thing that they felt and the last thing that they remember is controlled by me. So no matter where I am in the world, they get my interaction, my videos, my email, and my welcome to the clinic to start with. And then at the end, they get another touch point from me as well. So even though I'm not there, they're still getting me. They're still getting a touch from me. My personality is still in that business. Number five, automating excellence. If I'm not constantly training and retraining, I'm falling behind. If I don't have a process in my business to coach my staff, then I'll get what I got last week. I'll get what I got last week. And if I keep getting what I got last week, I can't grow. It's that simple. I put this out on a podcast this week. I did a mastermind here at my clinic. And one of the ladies who came down, we we spent almost two days talking about this, how she felt that she couldn't give up time for training. I'm like, okay, you haven't got time for success. Close the doors now because you are about to get what you tolerate. If you do not find the time to coach yourself with training and videos and various things to make it easy for yourself, you will get what you tolerate. If you do not coach these assets, these members of staff, you will get what you got last week. And most business owners are still getting this week what they were getting 21 years ago. Yes or no? Most business owners in 20 years of business have not been in business 20 years. They've been in business one time or for one year 20 times, meaning they do the same thing day in, day out, week after week, and they're getting the same results. You have to have a culture of excellence. Now, I understand it's difficult to close the doors. That's why you have to be very clever with the way you automate this training. The most important part of my business, without doubt, and I have seen the results from the day that we put this um, automation of our staff uh, workshops and meetings and the ability for our staff to train themselves regularly um, was immense. And the difference that we've had since we started it has been reflective in not only our culture, which is going to kill most businesses or is killing most businesses today, and it's been reflected in the results that we get on the P&L, the balance sheet, year on year. The happiest people on earth are growing and learning. You will get more from your staff if you can figure out a way to help them to grow. You have to automate excellence at your practice, both clinical and service. My staff have an ability to train, to grow, to develop as people, to develop as uh, employees every Wednesday uh, between 9 and 12 o'clock. I don't care who you are. You will not get an appointment at my practice. We will not answer the phone to you. We won't even open the door to you. There's a big sign saying we're closed for staff development every single week. And when patients or staff tell me that they can't afford to do it, I tell them you can't afford not to do it. And every time somebody looks at me like I'm crazy for doing this, I usually know that I'm onto something good. As I keep pointing out, there is a reason that 96% of businesses go broke within 10 years. Because everybody does the same thing. The 4% club, it exists for a reason. Because we do something significantly different. In that time, everybody in my office is involved in the training. So what happens? This is the million dollar question. We role play everything. We go through scenarios that have happened to the admin staff that week. Evaluations that didn't go so well. How, how, do we, how are we going to improve the evaluations or the consultations? How are we going to improve getting a patient to say yes to a 10 session plan of care if I don't have the time set aside or the assets in terms of the videos to train them? I can't expect that to happen if I, as the business owner, don't facilitate that. Upsells that weren't successful. Sarah, I want to know why. You're only selling 1,000 this week when the target's 1,500. What's going wrong? Do you need some help? We can revisit evaluation and telephone scripts approximately every 90 days. We can crown our company Core Values Champion. We can do presentations on Con Ed, 
skills, clinical skill stuff, as well as customer service. We have the PTs auditing each other's notes, improving communication in my business. And the impact that this has had on my clinic has been nothing short of breathtaking. Why? Like I said, happiest people on earth are those who are constantly learning. Why are kids so happy and excited? I've had this recently with my own staff and, and I brought this up on a podcast. Why are kids four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year old happy and excited? Why why is the five year old kid who rushes out of nursery or school with that thing in his hand that he's just done today to show you what he's drew or what he wrote because it was the first time he's been able to write his name? Why was he why is he so happy? Because he's learning, because he's growing, he's excited. Why are you so happy? Because he's passing chemicals to you that you wish you'd have had that you've forgotten about years ago because you stopped learning. That, in a nutshell, sums up most people's lives. And I'm not saying it's directly happening to you. I'm pointing out that the happiest people are five and six-year-old kids full of excitement, full of energy, full of love for life, full of wonder and optimism. Why? Because everything, every day, they're learning something new. As adults, we stop doing it. And somehow we remember miraculously expect to have wonderful cultures in our business when the way to be happy is to learn and everybody stop learning there's a customary course somewhere for connet to tick the box to keep the license but it's not continuous lifelong investment in learning you have to figure out how to do it there's no other option staff are more committed and more engaged and patients feel the difference there's no backstabbing there's no gossiping there's no crap going on in my office why because they're all happier because they're learning, they're growing, they're getting better, they're developing, they've got opportunities to develop themselves without me shouting at them, telling them what to do. We've set this thing up so that they can do it on their own and their patients feel it. The problem was this. The problem was this. I brought all this into the business when I was in the business. But my travel and business opportunities meant that I wasn't always around on a Wednesday. I'm not in the country that much. Most of the times... It wouldn't go ahead if I wasn't there. And this was the problem. This is where we hit that roadblock. Couldn't get past it. So what did we do? Or even if I was. My energy, my direction wasn't there if I was in the business. I was thinking about other things. I was traveling. I was jet lagged. Often coming back from Texas or somewhere after a three-day event that I'd flew out of London from and back to in four or five days. My energy wasn't quite as high as it uh, would need to be to do the training. So I had to figure out a way to automate it. I created a 90-day schedule of weekly training that would see us train and retrain constantly according to the new patient life cycle. Each week, we would cover a different aspect of the new patient experience from the first phone call to the first greeting to the way we respond to emails and text messages to the drop-off and reactivation phone calls. Everything gets re-looked at every 90 days. I created a video vault library and to make sure that I was still there, even when I wasn't, I decided to create a video vault. It's got hundreds of videos strong and consists of me or one of my senior staff explaining every single possible aspect of the business and how we expect it to work. And here's some of the videos. They're all inside a YouTube or a video. Uh, I've got a membership site with all of these things in that my staff can get access to. So when I'm aware or another business, they are watching the trainings, being coached by me, meaning that stuff is getting done in the way that I want, whether I'm there or I'm not. Can you see that? And you see the difference there? So yeah, there's a problem. I, I can't be there all the time, figuratively, but I can be there in presence. I can put these things on video. It also means that we never have to train new members of staff. How much time do you lose in business when a new member, I've gone through it and have been through it in the past, just like you. Members of staff come and go. Bring a new member of staff in. What does it really cost you? Almost two members of staff because you're one man down or one woman down in the fact that that person doesn't know what to do, but secretly you're two people down because somebody has to come out and train that person. So right when you don't need it, you're actually two people down. So you have to figure out a way. Again, this will cost you money, significant money in your business if you cannot figure out a way to train these staff on autopilot. Think of the investment that you're making the original member of staff that you needed to solve the problem and think of the investment that you're making in the second member of staff who now is training that member of staff isn't giving the patients love, isn't answering the phone, and isn't doing all of the things to advance the business. I can guarantee you it costs you thousands. It is what cripples most businesses as they start to grow. We never have any of the downtime associated with having to pull one of the key members of staff off the front desk. It's a huge time saver, and because we've created learning objective worksheets as well to accompany the videos, we can monitor what is being learned. Number six, numbers, numbers, numbers. Don't know your numbers, can't grow. Andrew Vertson, 
this is a master at this and taught me so much. A guy from California um, runs a business called Intercore PT. He is just a genius when it comes to the numbers, learning what you need to know, and has taught me much of what I'm about to teach you um, in this segment. While I'm gone, I still need to know the numbers because if I don't know the numbers, I run the risk of coming back to a ship headed in the wrong direction. And if I do know the numbers... I can make changes fast from a hotel, from the beach, from a conference hall, from a coffee shop, from a seminar, or wherever I am in the world. So I might be away, but I'm still able to safely monitor what's happening in the business. I can track new leads and leads converted. Um, my business is built using the value-added marketing uh, methodology. Instead of prospecting doctors, we acquire leads using uh, marketing automation and leveraging lead generation. That means if we run out of new leads today, Think about this. The power of the lead generation, the power of value-added marketing is that if we run out of leads today, I won't really feel it for about 90 days. Understand what that means. Unlike most businesses, if the phone stops ringing today, you're in trouble tomorrow. If the phone stops ringing for me, I've got 90 days to turn the ship around. I've got 90 days to do something about it because I've got leads in a pipeline and I'm able to track the number of calls and the number of things happening in the business to make sure that we don't hit a brick wall. That allows me to track the numbers. There's a dashboard that I use um, that shows me the number of new leads from back pain, uh, 45 new leads coming in from Facebook, people clicking my blogs, new leads in the last 30 days, new leads in the last 90 days, walk-in leads, website leads, so 35 people coming in off my back pain um, page on my website, uh, and the total new back pain customers that I've had over the last whatever period of time that was, 603. That's something I use in Infusionsoft. That's a dashboard I have that allows me to track to the granular level what's happening in my business. I can see new patients each day as a result of the new patient register and where everybody's coming from. You can see all of the different places from Facebook to Google to word of mouth to uh, Facebook lead to Yell and so on and so on. Average number of patients uh, per therapist is something that I track and have to. We know that most patients need six to nine sessions. So the average that we look for is 7.5. If one therapist is averaging four or five, it's an indicator that something is going wrong, usually in the initial evaluation. What can I do about it from the other side of the world? If I see a therapist's average visit per patient is down, I make the next Wednesday's training session all about improving prescription and evaluation techniques. So cause and effect. If I have a problem over here, and I realize that one week with PVA, we make the next week all about the problem that we've got. So we're not wasting energy. We're not fighting fires for the sake of it. We are only putting energy into the problems that we've got so we can improve week on week. I'll have them watch the video and rewatch it and then role play it, the exact techniques that I taught them years ago. We can track incoming calls versus the number of patients booked. I want to know how many inquiries came in that day versus how many got booked. If you are a new business, you are a solo practitioner, you won't think that's relevant, but I promise you as you grow, you take your eye off that ball, you're in trouble. And if you're a big business already and you're not tracking this, you're in trouble. But but, and this is the massive thing to understand, a lot of businesses might track this, but not many businesses know how to change it. And that's the difference between okay businesses that struggle and world-class businesses that prosper. It's one thing me being able to know that that's a problem. It's another thing being able to fix it. And if I've got all of the videos on play that somebody in my office can go back to and watch because they've just slipped into a bad habit, we can change that number within a week. And that's the power. It's not getting to the end of the year like most businesses and going, oh, what happened? Well, it was actually because the secretary or the front desk person stopped converting in a way that we used to when the business owner was there or before we opened up the second site. Massive for you to understand. So in my world, it should be 90% or higher. And if not, I need them to work on their incoming call technique using the video vault. I also track on my spreadsheet who handled the call. I've got seven front desk people. I need to know who handled it and whether or not the patient booked out a full plan of care. Why? It allows me to find a correlation between who answered the initial phone call and if that patient then goes on to pay for or book a package of care versus booking as they go. Obviously, we want them to book a full package of care. And I know the front desk person is the primary reason whether or not that happens or not. Not the physio, how well they are framed by the front desk person so that it's an absolute obvious shoe in choice to say yes when they see the physio.
Number five, number of upsells. I want to know how many additional services were sold that month. Massive, massive part of my business's revenue is these upsells through the system. My target is 100 new cash paying patients per month. So my upsell target is 20%. I firmly know and believe that 80-20 rule is in everything. 20% of people buying from your clinic today wanted you to sell them something else. 20% of people go into the shops buying more than they went in to do. Every profession, every industry, every town all over the world, that is going on. If it's not going on in your clinic, ask why. Ask why 20% of people are not buying more than the thing that they walk through the door. I guarantee you this weekend, you bought somewhere more than the thing that you walked into the store to buy. It's a universal law of business that most businesses are missing out significantly on revenue. And for my business, adds now close to $100,000 additional revenue because of this upsell. So I need to know I need to know where we are. Where's the gap so I can fix it? We sell 20% of orthotics, two out of every 10 people who come through the door. And if we're not hitting the numbers, we go back to the video vault to train the staff that week so that by next week, the numbers have changed. And we're not waiting until the end of the year to find out that we had a problem in which it was too late and we didn't make the profit target that we wanted again. So there's the um, number of orthotics sold. Month to date, we've sold 15. So we're on target for our uh, 20 orthotics in the last seven days and so on and so on and so on. Number of no-shows, cancellations and drop-offs, huge. If first visit no-shows are happening, then there is a problem on the front end phone call. And if they're happening after the eval, there's a problem with my therapist communication. So I'm able to narrow down where the cracks are in the business because of this type of system. And if people are dropping off, my secretaries are not handling the call to cancel as well as I would like. Uh, but armed with the data, we can go back to the training videos to improve. Um, so the importance of knowing the numbers, I only really want to know the numbers that I can take action on to improve. I get a weekly 30-minute snapshot of my business. Sure, I want to know what we made that day, that week, etc. in terms of revenue. But knowing these types of numbers, the cockpit, as I call it, allows me to impact the business from anywhere in the world. What's the cockpit? Much like a pilot wants to know if the plane is going to land short of the runway or on the runway as needed, the cockpit will tell him what's the dials. You have to have it in your business. Andrew Vertson's the guy who taught me much of what I know about running um, my business today, meaning I can actually impact the revenue per day, per week, and not just talk about it or shout about it. Understand what that means. We don't just want you to look at the numbers and shout. We want you to look at the numbers and impact them, change them positively, so that you're more profitable at the end of the month and at the end of the year. So I can track my dashboard, new patients arriving at day four, total new patients to month, 102, active new patients in my business right now, and so on and so on. 50 inquiries from the website, um, one from the website today, and I can see how Vicky's doing in the last seven days. 21 inquiries have gone from a lead, which would be off Facebook or Google, or my website, took a free report, converted to paying patient. 21 in the last seven days, she's doing well. It's all about tracking numbers and indicators that give you a chance to impact your business in a positive way ahead of time. So, number seven, marketing automation. How is everybody doing? Are you keeping up? Do you want me to keep going? You want me to keep going, everybody? Having fun? Yes, yes, yes. Type into the chat. Let me have a little little sip. It's thirsty work. Keep rocking. Hell yeah. Karen says yeah. Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Good. All right, let's move on. Marketing automation. What is it? A way of acquiring new patients at your practice without you having to physically do anything. For example, prospecting doctors is manual labor because you have to keep on doing it. Acquiring the names, email, and telephone numbers of new patients using Facebook, that's automated. Right now, as I speak to you, my ads are running into the news feeds of uh, ladies in their 50s offering them information on back pain and we are collecting their data as we speak. That is automation in its finest um, light. So there's two ways to do it. You can, or two ways, examples I'm gonna share with you. There are many, uh, here's two. So number one, how to make Facebook work. Pick your perfect patient that you wanna work with. My case, 55 year old lady. Facebook will let you find that specific person based upon their hobbies, interests, location, age, and gender. You run an ad into the news feed of that perfect patient that looks a little like this. Offers them information, resonates with them, connects with them, interwines the USP. All we're asking them to do is take the information. How to make it work. 
The next thing that we want to do is we make an exchange. Exchange your expertise in the form of a free tips report for their contact details, including name, email, telephone number. It's called lead generation. It's like I said, I care more about leads. Uh, or I, I certainly worry more about leads than patients because if I get the leads, I get the patients. If I don't get the leads, I don't get the patients. You will need to create a landing page to collect that data. And when they opt in for the free report, the next thing you do is follow up. Simply create a pre-written series of automated emails with the goal of nurturing the prospect to becoming a paying patient. And that's an example of what we get from Infusionsoft. So I use Infusionsoft. You don't have to. It's just, in my opinion, the best in the world to help you to grow a business. Um, it sends my team an email that looks like that that says, Sue, there's an email, there's a telephone number. She's got a problem that she wants to avoid depending upon painkillers to ease back pain. So she's obviously got back pain and she is relying upon pills. We know that about Sue now. We can give Sue a call and have that conversation. She's also getting the email. She'll get phone calls of Vicky on Monday morning. Uh, she'll start to be followed around on the internet with our social media and so on and so on because we'll ask her to start to follow us because of the emails. Facebook, along with Google, I mean, Facebook is edging it right now. Um, easily, number one source of new patients at my practice. We've been doing it. I've been doing Facebook since 2014. 2014. It's that good. If you sustain it and you keep working at it and you keep optimizing it and you play with it, Facebook is a fabulous referral source. You can automate the asking of referrals. Most clinics wait until the end of treatment to ask, but the best time is within 72 hours of people booking an appointment. At this time, they are delighted to have made the decision and most likely want somebody else to feel as good as them or to go through physical therapy with. So the best way to get more referrals is by offering to give new patients information that they can give to their friends or family. Think how many patients tell you they'll recommend you versus how many of their friends actually arrive. Not as many as we would like. It is risky for them to recommend you and we don't want patients turned into salespeople. The last thing that we want is to feel as though patients have to go around selling for us. The easiest way to do it, the easiest way to do it is give them information. Um, and we use this. It's a web page, polgarphysio.com forward slash friends. If you wanted to have a look at it, we've automated this whole thing. It means that when a patient uh, is thinking about referring a friend or to get them to nudge a few more people over the line, we basically just say, hey, send them this uh, web page and let them request the free report that they've got the problem with. They fill out the form. We get their contact details and we start the whole process of nurturing. And off we go towards them becoming patients. Uh, much, much easier, much more predictable and much more reliable. And for every you know, one patient who might refer a patient or, or a friend, we get five who are easily able to give the uh, information in terms of the reports to their friends so that we get their contact details and we you know, begin that nurturing. Uh, the friends or family opt-in because it is easy, it's reliable, it's a risk-free way to start to find a solution. That's the key thing I don't think many people get. People are at different points of their journey, and if you ask them to make that big ultimate decision of saying yes to you, and that's the only way that they can start, you can't grow a business like that. You cannot grow, and this is the key thing if it's about scaling and growing, you will not grow a business past where it is today if you keep focusing on the buy now patients. Cannot do it. There is not enough simply out there. You have to move towards automation. You have to move towards nurture funnels. And you have to move to prospects and leads. Fill up your leads and fill up your prospects and nurture them to say yes. Because today, if you're relying upon, I'm ready now, that's why you hit the flat line. That's why if you're on this website and your clinic is stalled or flatlined, you've run out of the patients who want to say yes. The rest are all, I need information. I'm, I don't know you enough yet. Let, give me something before you ask me to buy from you. Significant difference. So we put them into a nurture system, and it's the same system of follow-up emails and phone calls that we use to convert our Facebook patients, and it's an explosive way of growing a PT business on autopilot. Then, when those new leads become patients, we put them through the same process of asking them to give their friends our information, and so the cycle goes on and on and on and on, and this automation just keeps bringing more and more and more and more patients to us and the compound effect uh, Warren Buffett's favorite uh, way of building wealth the compound effect of that on my business has been phenomenal certainly is an explosive way of growing a business on autopilot so now we're down to a very important aspect of uh, the training we're going to talk about you and how you can accelerate this process you know that you need to leverage systems and automation to grow in this new economy you know this growth by automated system strategy works for the pts and you know the pt school did not teach you any of this type of stuff 
before you opened your business. You know you don't have time to do all of this on your own, and that's why I created this advanced training. Uh, Physical Therapy Business Growth School shows you how to systemize and autopilot everything so that your business grows without you. It is six weeks of systems implementation and business coaching with three PT industry experts to transform your business from daily grind to a systematized, fully automated and predictably more profitable asset that is a pleasure to own and run. It is featuring Andrew Vertson, the guy who taught me everything I know about numbers. He is founder of Intercore PT in Orange County and now regarded by many as the go-to metrics and numbers man in the physical therapy industry worldwide. He has an incredible track record of starting and growing a multiple site seven-figure PT clinic from scratch. Founder and co-owner of San Francisco Sport and Spine, Jerry Durham, uh, he is a huge name in the uh, industry, impacting so many businesses with his patient experience and his new patient journey experience methodology. He uh, has been part of the private practice section of the APTA, well-renowned, well-known, a wealth of knowledge, and he is part of this program and will be one of the teachers on the program that you will be learning from uh, when you take the class with us. Uh, He runs a three-clinic out of network uh, clinic that's uh, success is thanks largely due to the customer journey experience. Jerry was one of the early adopters in the out of network uh, clinic space and really puts the success down to his business, the su- uh, sustained success to his clinic adopting the new uh, patient journey experience. So we've got three focuses. Number one, create automated systems in your clinic that'll let you grow and scale more quickly and reliably. And number two, streamlining operations so that you can spend more time with patients and your family. I told you earlier, that was the big difference that made the difference for me. The thing that made us different, the leverage that we were looking for, the screw you to my competition. Uh, You're all focused on just billable units. We're focusing on streamlining operations so that we've got more time to give and time is the currency. Okay, where you are in the world, time is the currency. It's the thing you know secretly, you value the most is time and so do they. If you can get time into your business and make them feel like you've got more time for them than anybody else, you will win. There's no money problems, there is no cash problems, there's no out of network problems, there's no deductible problems. There is, I felt rushed through this process problems and I'm not confident enough to give you my money. That's the effect, the cause is a lack of time and that's the big focus that we're gonna put onto this program for you to streamline this business of yours so that you above all of your competition are the standout practice in the town that has the time for their patients. And ultimately, we're gonna let you grow your PT clinic without having to be there every single day. It's highly possible. This is for you. It's not for everybody. We only have a limited number of seats anywhere left. This is for you. We're going to make, uh, if you want to make the same money and spend more time with your family, this is for you. If you want to grow and scale your practice successfully without even having to be there, have your name above the door, but have others do the work for you. You want to streamline those operations so that you can spend more time with your patients, meaning you'll get better results than your competition. This is for you. That's the one. That's the one that most people overlook when we do this program. You want to open in more locations with ease. I've since opened three more clinics. You want to get your business into a position that if you wanted to, you could one day sell it for a handsome seven figure. You are already highly successful, but you want to take things to the next level. Your business is struggling right now. You're stuck, you're frustrated, you've hit a glass ceiling, an invisible ceiling that you just cannot get through, and you want a fast turnaround to make 2018 your best year yet. You want automated systems in your business to do most of the hard work of growing your business for you, then this is for you. It is for cash, out of network, in network, and hybrid PT business owners who want to do things differently. You, you must want to commit to want to do things differently rather than being stuck in the old-fashioned way of running a business that just leads to hell. It's the road to hell. The, the 96% of business owners in our profession are on the road. They're either going to win the rat race or the road to hell. Either way, it ain't a good one to be on. Okay, so let's talk about the price. You're getting access to the complete automated system that has helped me grow from solo clinic owner to four clinics with 14 staff. From working all day, every day as a PT to spending 22 weeks of the year in foreign countries with my family, something that has cost me at least $100,000, significantly more to figure out, and you're getting the exact blueprint that has already helped many of my private clients to have similar results in their business. 
Uh, those owners pay me uh, thousands of dollars per hour to work with them privately. So the full value of PT Business Growth School, the program, is $5,000. It is a $5,000 value uh, program. That's because any one of these six modules could and previously have been sold off separately for up to $1,000 each. But because you're still on this webinar with me and that tells me how committed you are and likely to benefit from joining this program. Uh, if you enroll in the class today, you can make four easy payments of just eight, nine, seven. That is uh, saving you over $1,400 uh, if you uh, enroll with us uh, today. I really do appreciate the fact that you are still here. I uh, think it's amazing and I love to work with people like yourself who are uh, so dedicated and committed uh, to your own learning and, and to your own uh, journey, if you like, uh, to be super successful in business. And that's the type of people that I can help. It is very difficult to help people who won't help themselves. So uh, we want to work with you. We are recruiting for people that we want to help build better businesses uh, with the right systems and the right automation inside of their business. So uh, if you want to enroll today, you can save $1,400. And if you want to save just uh, even a little bit more, uh, make one payment of just 3400 to take part in the program. So it's four payments of 897 or just one payment of 3400 Best, the guarantee. Uh, two weeks to try the program for free. And if by the end of module two, you do not think it'll do what you're hoping for, I'll give you your money back in full. Everything back in full, up to two weeks to try the program. So there is zero risk. If you are sitting on the fence or you are tempted right now to do this program, uh, you really have nothing to lose. I'll take all of the risk. Uh, go through the first two modules. And if you don't love it uh, in the way that I want you to love it, then uh, just uh, email me, uh, paul at paulgoff.com, and we'll give you your money back. The best news is this. You can start this class today, right here right now we've set this thing up for you to be successful starting uh today you can literally get instant access to module one via the private members website uh, that you will have lifetime access to so whenever we update this program whenever we put in new scripts or we figure something better out when it comes to automation and systems we'll update the membership site and you'll have uh, lifetime access to it we'll send you an email and explain that something new is inside the membership site and uh, you'll always be able to get access to uh, new things you'll never get left behind you'll always be ahead of the uh, curve and whenever we uh, learn something that is working better we'll always share it with you so here's the modules number one discover your clinics usp scale your mission and create a brand that's trustworthy of growth week number two automating the new patient journey experience this is part one featuring jerry durham week number three essential financial principles with andrew vertin uh, module number four automating a culture of clinical and service excellence module number five is marketing automation and module number six is automating the new patient journey experience that's where we bring back jerry uh, to do this with you so here's what's involved in each module. Um, module number one, how to define what makes you really different from your competition and how you can use it in your marketing and all your communication to win. It's one thing to have a USP. Uh, not many businesses do. We'll teach you how to get one, but then we'll go one step further and we'll show you how to use it in your marketing and your communication, which makes prices, uh, pushback, you know, the co-pay conversation, the cash conversation, the deductible or the excess conversation, uh, almost insignificant when you can really describe what makes you different and use it in marketing and in your internal communication uh, to overcome those objections how to ensure that your staff correctly communicate the difference every time it's one thing again to know what makes you different um, you personally as the owner of the business but what we really need is your staff and any staff you're planning on bringing into your business to be able to understand what makes you different as well and most importantly communicate it right every time time there is nothing that will hold your business back more than staff who do not do what you need them to do when you need them to do it we'll show you how to get them to do it when you need them to do it 10 ways to get all of your staff on board with all of the changes you're going to be making this is huge uh, we've seen a lot of business owners in the past try to make big whole scale changes and when they go in they're excited you know they want this thing to happen in their business because they can see the difference it's going to make and yet the staff and not on board there's pushback there's resistance there's arguments there's all sorts of stuff that you just don't need so we'll share with you ways to get all of your staff on board so that the uh, changes uh, are easier to make 
Module two, how to leverage systems and automation to create what we call the journey experience, the world-class journey experience, as I call it, at your practice uh, that no other clinic can provide. Sure, other clinics can answer the phone, they can send their bills and they can you know, put names on schedules and so on, but we wanna provide uh, what I call a journey experience at your practice that no other clinic can provide. And we'll show you how to automate most of it. Uh, one of those ways is what I call the value added welcome sequence. Uh, you'll help every patient to see the true value of what you do so that they're happy to pay for it. And the all new summary bridge and pull concept that we use to stand out from our competitors. Patients love it. We've been using it for years now. Uh, it's all automated. It literally goes out after the uh, session will explain to you why and what to put in it so that in fact we'll give you the templates we'll tell you exactly what to to say and we'll we'll write the thing for you to send to your patients and it uh, summarizes everything brings people closer to you so they're more likely to show up for the next session uh, this is about pre-programming your business to become a finely tuned machine so that you consistently over deliver at every stage of the patient's life cycle we are going to build an automated machine that creates amazing experiences all across your business uh, you'll also get given telephone call scripts if people are ringing in you know your usp is working it's strong more and more people are going to be calling you uh, we'll give you the right questions to ask that ensure patients see true value in your services it's not about what you say it's about what you ask uh, and we'll give you the scripts along with uh, videos to give to your staff to help them um, implement all of this in your business uh, pre-written examples of material in the value added welcome sequence so those things i described earlier to make those patients just feel super welcome, more likely to stay, Raven fans, and just in love with what you do from the get-go. We'll give you the most profitable email I've ever sent out. Uh, you'll get a PDF of it and start sending it to your patients. Uh, for most of you, depending upon the size of the business, if you've got even 20 or 30 past patients, send this email and you will get your money back on the uh, cost guaranteed. Uh, video tutorials teaching your staff how to engage new patients when they arrive, um, what to say and what not to say. This is going to make your life very easy if you're a business owner. Uh, number three, no business can grow without essential financial solid principles. If you don't know, you can't read the scoreboard, you don't know if you're winning and that's what this module is about. You cannot scale and you cannot grow uh, without tracking the financials that actually matter. It's so easy to be confused by numbers. It's easy to say that I read the numbers but do you know what the numbers mean and what you should do about it? What decisions should you make as a result of the numbers? So we'll give you the financials that matter so that you can stop wasting time on useless metrics. Which are the metrics and key performance indicators to track and report and what systems to use for tracking them, how to set up the appropriate compensation structures for employees, how to incentivize them to continue growing with you. These are huge things that you're gonna to have to factor in if you are planning on growing and scaling a business. Wherever you are now, if you need staff soon or you've already got staff, uh, these are the types of things you're gonna to have to know if you wanna be able to grow. It is about so much more than just marketing if you wanna be successful in your business. So you'll get the exact spreadsheets that Andrew Verton uses to track all uh, of this stuff at his own clinic, pre-built templates that I use, drag and drop your own vital stats. This is the stuff that I use to be able to track you know, what's happening in my business from um, wherever I am in the world. New technology and software that we recommend to make life instantly easier when it comes to tracking this. How to use Google and Facebook to find new staff for your company. Uh, it will save you thousands on agency fees. How to create an automated onboarding process um, so that any new employees uh, can quite literally train themselves, saving you a lot of time and money, how to retrain your staff without you having to do any of the work and even if you're not there. This is a significant module that most businesses miss. Automating a culture of clinical and service excellence. It's not just about being world-class at the PT and the skills aspect, it's about the service that you provide. And we'll talk to you all about hiring strategies to make sure that you get it uh, right first time. Many of those strategies uh, have appeared in my uh, number one best-selling book. I am the guy to go to when it comes to hiring. And I go more in depth in this uh, part of the module than I ever could in, in the book. I revealed a few of the principles in the book, uh, my hiring solution book, We'll go very, very deep into how to automate the whole hiring process to make sure that you get it right uh, first time. Module number five, marketing automation. This goes way beyond knocking on doors of doctors or asking for referrals from people in Pilates classes or studios or doing workshops. This is marketing automation. This is lead generation on autopilot, inquiries coming through your door, on your website, 
three, four, five a day coming into your business. It means you can spend less time chasing dead-end relationships with doctors and more time picking up new patients without you or anyone else personally having to be in your office to do it. Uh, we'll talk in depth about Facebook advertising. It is the new patient gold rush and we'll show you how to turn it into your number one source of new patients i'll show you how to get 10 times referrals from past patients if you've got even five or ten past patients you need to understand how to do this um, and of course how to automate the process you are sitting on a gold mine if you are not using facebook and you haven't got some kind of automated process for getting past patients to refer to you we'll show you how to do it as well as special new patient getting promotions how to autopilot one for each month of the year and without you ever having to leave the office to do it it's all about making your life easier. So we can show you how to use Facebook, we can show you how to get referrals from past patients and, and automate that, and we can show you how to get new patients, um, automation, you know, using automation as well, as email marketing. It's, uh, the you know, email marketing is 5.0 as they call it now. Uh, it's the only way to email, you know, people say they don't like getting emails, they don't if you're using the old method, but if you're using the new email marketing 5.0, um, it's what the most successful companies are using now, and we'll show you how to do it right. As well as that, we'll give you some of my very best Facebook ads, a copy of my exact landing pages that we use on Facebook, and just make life easier for you that way. Um, and module number six, automating the new patient journey experience. We come back to finish this whole uh, world-class journey experience off in your practice powerful prescription of care strategies how to diffuse the copay time bomb that starts ticking the moment they realize they need more than one session how to develop a fail proof system for stopping drop-offs it is likely to be worth the investment alone to be able to stop even just one drop-off a month think about it the ability to stop a drop-off that would have paid a you know thousand dollars equivalent in your uh, practice if that happens every month and you can just stop one of these patients from dropping up you've probably got a four or five times return on your money just from stopping a drop-off uh, the discharge sequence so somebody gets you know uh, finished their plan of care at your practice uh, i stay in touch with people forever basically there is no end of care at paul's there is the end of your first plan of care but really we're just biding our time until the time you need to come back and see us i'll show you how to turn a patient into a lifer i call them lifers they are coming into my world for an initial hamstring or back pain um, we want to turn them into lifelong clients and i'll show you how to do that as well as how to get great reviews about your clinic posted on google yelp and facebook automatically and without you personally having to ask anyone to do it look PT, Business Growth School, is essentially about me lifting the hood on three of the world's most successful physical therapy businesses. We'll be sharing our secrets and showing you how we systemize and autopilot everything so that you can do the same. And it's about to get better. I'm going to give you this free bonus. So you can make your investment back before uh, PT, Business Growth School even uh, starts. I'm going to give you this, Profiting from Social Media, the new way. It's a brand new program. It's a value of 347. Uh, it will immediately boost your bottom line. Uh, how to automate pretty much everything that you see uh, you know, good about social media. We'll show you how to do it. And step by step, how we're using social media at the Paul Goff Physio Rooms to acquire new patients on autopilot all day uh, and all night. You'll get profit boosting improvements to your clinic marketing that can make a big difference starting like today tonight like that is the difference again there are just so many you know on its own it's a, just an incredible program there are so many isolated things that you could just do one of the things i'm going to teach you and it would be worth the investment alone just think about it you know the cost of acquiring a patient or the value that it would bring to your life what we're asking for this program against that the ability to autopilot new leads and new patients every single day to stop drop-offs to make sure that patients see out their plan of care that they refer to you the true you know the true value of this program is well past hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to any clinic owner that that actually just you know just take the program and do what we tell you to do and you're going to be fine so uh, this was designed to bolt on. Remember, it's all about automation. There's no better way than to automate social media to get new patients. Uh, it is designed to get you the full cost of enrollment back before you even take the first class. As soon as you confirm your order, uh, your enrollment in the class, you will be sent uh, it to you 
right away. And one more I'm going to give you is two months additional uh, marketing and business training and support in my 4% club. It's a huge program now. There is well over 100 people from all over the world. 100 of the world's best business owners are in my mastermind program. The fee to be in there now uh, is north of, uh, you know, it's $900, $10,000 a year or $900 a month. So you're going to get um, you're going to get two months free in the program where we'll help, we'll support you. You can get involved in some of the cool things that we're doing in Mastermind uh, and really help you with that you know, that next level of, of becoming a world-class business owner uh, that, that we'll be able to help you to, uh, to do and, and surely must be your uh, goal. Um, that is something that we uh, are very happy to give you. We'll get the weekly live trainings uh, and you'll get an opportunity to attend the next uh, two-day live meeting uh, of the group. Uh, plus, Facebook support community, all there for you. Me, my team, 400 of the world's best owners are in the Facebook community. People have done this course before you. They're all there waiting to help you. So you're getting six weeks of PT Business Growth School training. You'll get the bonus program profiting from social media, the new way, and you'll get the new patients from community events, plus two months free access to the 4% Club. Uh, huge, you know, huge value that we're, we're offering. It's almost worth enrolling in the program just to get the bonuses. Uh, plus, I'm going to give you this. Um, let's just make this decision an absolute no-brainer for you new patient overload is a uh, lead generation marketing program simple old school strategies to get new leads and patients for you um all about value-added marketing it was one of my very early programs two thousand dollars that i you know very first put out and has been sold hundreds of times to clinics all over the world and, and uh, is an incredible program that will help you get a uh, really good impact on your you know, your marketing and your leads coming through the doors to be able to put through all of these new systems that you're going to have in your business. You'll get the videos, the templates, resources to make all of the uh, direct marketing stuff work in your practice. But you must enroll before midnight tonight to get it. It's That's the deal. If you want it, uh, register for the program like now as soon as I give you the link. Uh, and then just send an email to the first confirmation email that you get tell us that you wanted the uh, unadvertised free bonus and we'll send it to you um, straight away no problem so um, I'm not done yet please don't go anywhere and you're going to want to have your credit card in hand um, very quickly phone the bank and tell them that that a transaction is about to happen because uh, this is the thing that, that I think uh, will just send you over the line. If you enroll while I'm on this webinar, so you've probably got three to five minutes maximum to make the decision, which is why I say have your credit card ready, uh, tip off the bank if you need to increase the limit for the uh, transaction or whatever it will be. Um, if you enroll while I am still on this webinar, we will also set up your first Facebook ads for you. It's a $1,500 value. We can do these things for you, whether it's the remarketing, whether it's the low back injury severity assessment, whether it's the leave as a comment below, whether it's the blog, whether it's the retargeting, whatever you want, um, the quiz, we'll be able to do it uh, for you. It's a $1,500 value, and what that means is if you rang my office and said, can you set the ads up, we'd say yes, but it's $1,500 to do it. Plus, I'm going to give you all of these things. All of this, as well as your first Facebook ads, I'm going to give you 25 pre-written emails, 25 pre-written blogs, and I'm going to give you my company's three-day annual planning document. The only catch, the only deal, uh, the only thing that I ask is that you enroll while I'm on this webinar. Let's just put this to bed. That if you want the Facebook ads while you're on the web, uh, enroll while I'm on the webinar. If you want 25 pre-written emails to send to your past patients, that will save you probably at least 25 hours worth of work. If you want 25 pre-written blogs or tips art articles, which take significantly longer, therefore could be saving you 50 hours worth of work, plus the money that you'll get coming in as a result of sending these out and putting them all over your social media. And probably the most valuable thing of all, the three-day annual planning document to get together with your team and just basically be in a room with each other for three days. There's nothing more valuable and work out what you need to do in the next 12 months. And it's something that I've been doing for quite a while and every year with my team. Uh, easily, easily the most impactful uh, thing that I could probably ever give anybody. I never release it for sale, but I'm happy to give it to you if you enroll while I'm still on the webinar, which is now only going to be a couple of minutes. So, um, so let's get you, um, let's get you over the line. Oh no, one more reward. Hang on, let me do this. Let, so, I'm going to give you the unadvertised bonus. I'm going to give you the Facebook bonus, and I'm going to give you the blogs. I'm going to give you the emails, and I'm going to give you the annual planning document. But I'm also going to knock off the final payment. You can save an additional six hundred dollars. 
that means that you can enroll right now three lots in 997 or one times 2850 that's uh where the price is now that and the bonuses if you want them you've got to enroll in the next two or three minutes so i'm going to ask you to head over to the sales page i'll give you the link in a moment you can enroll um and you can check out and as soon as you have just send a reply email to the uh, confirmation email that you'll get with initial access to the membership site or full access to the membership site and just tell us you want the bonuses so if you want to save six hundred dollars you want your facebook ad setting up for you you want the annual planning document you want the um 25 pre-written emails and you want the 25 pre-written blogs uh you've got to enroll right now so a couple of minutes uh to get all of those things the bonuses of facebook and so on they will not exist in the next three to five minutes so please don't ask i never give uh as i i simply couldn't go against and it wouldn't be fair to all of the people who are about to enroll so it's decision time there's over four thousand dollars worth of bonuses that i'm giving you so you've got nothing to lose backed up by a no risk guarantee you've got two weeks to try it it is worth enrolling just to try it don't cut yourself off from success and opportunity at least give it a sample you are at no risk the money can go back onto your credit card whenever you like up until week number two and by that point i'm 100 percent certain that you'll be confident and you'll love it and you'll want to stay but if you're if you disagree that it's not worth or you just think that that it isn't what i said it was then just ask for your money back so if you want to get everything you've got to do it right now and that's where you've got to go ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth pt profitacademy.com forward slash growth now look what often happens is the page can crash um, right now there'll be a lot of people going to the web page and we experience this a lot if you can't get there there's a problem with the website the order form won't work it's simply because there's so many people who go to that page all at once from all across the world so choose your payment plan get your confirmation email and open your new patient overload bonus video program and start profiting uh, right away. If you've got a problem with the order, just email paul at paulgoff.com. Um, we usually get inundated and bombarded with emails uh, right about now. And it can take us a little while to get around to everything, but we'll do our best. But rest assured, if you're trying to enroll and there's a problem with the page, just email us now, paul at paulgoff.com. Um, and we'll make sure we honor the, uh, you know, honor the bonuses and so on for you. But I would encourage you to talk to the bank and, and just ask them to release the funds if there's a problem with the audit because it's usually that so that's the first option now if you want to ask us questions before you enroll in the program here's another option ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth hyphen discovery um we'll put all these links or or, or take a screenshot and, and make sure you click uh and, and head over to that link it'll allow you to book a call with my team It'll allow you to book a call and ask your questions. I want to be true to, to everything that I say and that we just want to help you make the right decision. So if you've got questions and you want to talk to us first before you enroll, um, do this. If you are in any doubt about if this is right for you before enrolling, then use ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth hyphen discovery. It's a discovery call. Let's just discover that this thing is right for you. So you've watched this presentation you know you genuinely want to autopilot and systemize everything in your business so that it grows without you. You know that it's automated systems that will help you do that faster. And you know this course has already helped other PTs just like you. So here's what some of our students are saying. Paul, give me a plan that is fully automated and is helping me grow my practice without relying upon marketing to doctors. Even better, I'm now able to attract patients that are in my target market instead of feeling like I have to treat any patient that a doctor refers to my clinic. Paul is highly informative and very inspiring, and I highly recommend this to any PT who wants to take their practice to the next level. Thank you, Christine. Paul's focus is always on the higher, longer-term gain for you and your business. Most every other marketing course or coach you've tried is all about how to get 100 patients, but then fails to deliver. Paul shows you the systems that are needed to gain new patients and maintain growth throughout the entirety of your business. Paul is a huge time saver, correct? Time is money in business. We want to save you time so that you can give it back to your patients, give it back to your family, and ultimately make more money um, from doing less. 
I recently decided to go on my practices from Jared Carter and was smacked in the face with a ton of work that resulted from not having any systems or automation in place. Working with Paul has been amazing. He helped me realize that a properly designed private practice will actually decrease my workload as the practice grows rather than the opposite. Very true, Jared. That's ultimately what happens to most people is that they grow their business, but they also grow their hassles and grow their struggles and grow their challenges. And essentially, eventually it all grinds to a halt. So let's avoid that happening to you. Let's get these systems in your business. Head over to ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth. If you enroll in the next minute, you're going to get all of your bonuses, your uh, money savings. You're going to get your Facebook. You're going to get your um, uh, pre-written emails and blogs, the annual planning and everything else that I've promised you, uh, you will get if you head over to that page. Now, choose the payment plan. You can do one payment up front and save a little more money or you can do the three payments uh, of nine nine seven. Get your confirmation email, reply to it, and tell us that you want your bonuses. You'll also get your social media profits bonus program right away. And if you do want to talk to us first, head over to ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth hyphen discovery. Just put hyphen discovery at the end, and we'll have a discovery call. Fill out the form. You'll get a link to book a call with one of my team, uh, and we'll just answer your questions and make sure that this whole thing uh, right for you. You can book it. There's nothing to lose. If you want to order the program and you don't think it's right, remember, you're covered by the money back guarantee. This will put your name above the door, but have others do the work for you. And it will let you open more clinics in more location with ease, just like I did. And it'll give you a business growth plan that leverages automation for rapid growth. Get your PT business into a position so that it could be sold for a handsome seven-figure sum. You can only do that uh, if the business is systemed and it's even scalable. So ultimately, we want to help you speed up the whole process to ensure you hit the ground running and get all of this right first time. So head over um, to ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth. You've got another minute or so before I have to leave. I've got uh, my kids to see this afternoon. Uh, choose your payment plan, get your confirmation email and open your social media profits bonus video program and start profiting uh, right away. I'll instantly add you to the Facebook group and I'll notify you just before the first class and send you an email with how to access the course uh, seminar. But if you want to talk to us first, you're welcome to do so. ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth hyphen discovery. Uh, book a call uh, in the next few days. Ask your questions. We'll make sure it's right for you. Uh, but remember, you can't make a mistake either way because even if you enroll in the program, you are covered by a full money back guarantee if you want to implement the world's most advanced systems that can run your business for you create systems that can consistently and reliably impact your profits leverage new automation and software technology so that you don't have to work so hard discover the very latest leading edge marketing automation skills to bring breathtaking results to you and your clinic streamline operations so that you can spend more time with patients spend more time with family and still make the same money and finally Get a real, a real business education the PT school failed to deliver. Then head over to ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth hyphen discovery if you need to talk or ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth if you are ready to enroll now and be covered by the full money back guarantee. Get all of your bonuses, save the additional $600 uh, and just start getting on with automating your systems uh, in your business right away. Feel confident with the profitability guarantee and I'll see you on the program and together we'll put PT Business Growth School to work in your uh, business. Avoid the rat race uh, quite simply by heading over to ptprofitacademy.com forward slash growth. If you are um, trying to check out, we'll be able to see it. If you are having a problem, just email us paul at paulgoff.com. Uh, we will be inundated with responses and inquiries and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. But if you email us, literally in the next few seconds to tell us that you want in. If you're having a problem, we'll fix it for you and honor the bonuses or uh, call your bank and just ask them to uh, release the payment. We'll be able to see that you have uh, tried to check out while I was on the webinar. We know exactly what time this webinar finishes and um, who enrolled and, and who didn't. So this is your last 10 second countdown to enroll in PT Business Bro uh, Growth School and get the huge saving plus all of the amazing bonuses. It is 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
All right, that's it. I got to go. Um, thank you for your time. It's been amazing to be able to speak with you today. Thanks for listening. Well done for listening. It's amazing to know that you're there and that you are so dedicated to your uh, business. And I look forward to working with you very, very soon on the PT Business Growth School program.